Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to uh, give a like for our video if you like it. And if you don't like it, give it this like. Today our topic is the same as actually we spoke about in the morning today. But I just found a video. It's, it's made just uh, October 24th. Hmm. That's just yesterday. And it's made by a center called Emir Stain Center. I made I made a video before about those. And obviously, their videos, they stink, not only they stain. I think they don't say stain, they say stein. So Emir Stein Center, I don't know who is behind the center, but obviously there's something very fishy. Is Allah is God. <clears throat> and then we have a supposedly someone they brought, and they choose carefully who they bring. They bring somebody trying to promote Islam, try to make it is really a religion. And we Christians and Muslims, we believe in the same God. So this guy, his name supposedly a professor, Merzalov Wolf, uh, Merzalov Wolf. I don't know. Uh, this is the name. I, I hope I'm reading the name correctly. It says, "Is Allah is God?" The answer for this question were simple. Professor Merz, Mer, Merzlov uh, Wolf uh, would not have written a whole book in the subject. Still, is engaging short video, Professor Wolf provides a brief summaries of the answer okay what is the brief sorry the brief uh, a summary of the answer excuse my english uh, is the one is in in one sense for me christian theologian uh, uh, the answer of the question where allah is god is simple before the prophet muhammad proclaimed the message of islam <clears throat> arabic speaking christians have uh, for centuries read the bible that Allah loved the world, acting in Jesus Christ to risk or asking Jesus. You see, this is a big fat lie, because before, before, there is no single translation for the Bible before Muhammad in Arabic, as I know, and we cannot find that translation where it says the word Allah. So, what is this guy is talking about? In which language the Arabic Christians? Because you just said Arab. <clears throat> When you say Arabic Christian, you have to show us which Bible is that Bible you are talking about, referring to Arabic Christian using the word Allah. And remember, he is saying before Muhammad. And the challenge for this guy to show us which Bible he is talking about, which where is the, where is this book, which before Muhammad. This is a big fat lie. Just to show you the ignorance of those people who claim to be professor. If we go even to a Muslims uh, uh, resource, we will find that the real father of Muhammad, Waraq ibn Nufal, he was a translating in the time of Muhammad. Some of what is called supposedly the Injil. And this is a very authentic hadith in the front of you in Sahih al-Bukhari. So if the Injil is translated in the time of Muhammad, why this guy is translating? He can just use the translation, <laughs> which he have. So here you see the stupidity of those who claim to be scholars. The story in the front of us, read carefully, and this is not me, this is Aisha and Muhammad and reporting the story. It says, Khadija, she took Muhammad after the angel appeared to him in the cave and he squeezed him three times like a mayonnaise. And then she took him to her cousin, which his name is Waraq ibn Nawfal, ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza. He is the slave of Al-Uzza. And we will go back later to this. And then it says, who during the pre-Islamic period become a Christian, the fact he did not become a Christian, he became Nasara, and used to write the Arabic writing and used to write of the gospel in Arabic. Do you see it? He was writing what? He was working in writing Arabic gospel. But if the Arabic gospel is exists hundreds of years before Muhammad, as this guy, he said, what this guy is talking about? So this is all is garbage. We have, as I know, we have two or three Arabic translation, and all of them, they are relatively very new compared to what, you know, this is very new translation for the, because all those, uh, uh, they call them Arabic Christians, uh, they don't have really any translation the you know that uh, uh, the, the languages for the Bible was either Aramaic Greek uh, Hebrew 
and those who do not need translation is like the Egyptian the Coptic they have their own book in their own language and the Ethiopian and some of in like some in India so what is the Arabic what is the Arabic book what is that even even just to show you the stupidity of this guy <clears throat> in the time of Muhammad Muhammad he said that Allah he sent down the Injil he sent down what the Injil this guy he says that in the time of Muhammad there was an Arabic book so why its name is the Injil Injil is a Greek name what is the Arabic name what is the Arabic name for the Arabic book why he is using Injil you see here in the translation it doesn't say the word Injil but let me change the translator and you will see the word Injil appear immediately <clears throat> Do you see it? Injil. Injil is a Greek word. So obviously Muhammad in his time he could not find, he never heard of any book except the Injil. Otherwise, why it's called Injil? You see, and here by the way, this is exposing the whole cult of Islam because Muslims they say that Jesus was sent only to the Jews as a prophet. Okay, so he was sent to the Jews, but his book is in a Greek. And even Allah, he called the book Injil. Do you understand me, guys, what I'm saying? So imagine I say that Jesus was sent to the Chinese. And then the name of his book, and his book was in the Greek, but he was sent to the Chinese. <laughs> so here we see that this guy, he doesn't speak Arabic, he does not know what he's talking about. He claimed that he is a professor in the Semitic religion, but yet he doesn't speak the language of the Semitic religion. How you can be a professor if you don't? Then in the video, I wish I can play it all so we can die laughing, but I'm trying to avoid, uh, you know, they can claim copyright over it. <clears throat> So he says here, and they prayed to Allah in the name of Jesus. The Arab Christians, they are under the occupation of the Arab Muslims for 14 centuries. Do you know what happened in just a few months in Syria under ISIS? We have it for 14 centuries. 14. We paid the jizya to live. They raped our women. They took our land. And they force her to to the narrow road and then you are saying to me the Arab Christian they pray to Jesus by using the word Allah here we we find that this guy he is trying to make you believe that we have the same God look the Arab Christian they say they pray to Allah let me show you something <clears throat> I saw it in the news. The Islamic court of the country is called Malaysia. Highest court backs ban on Allah to use by Christians in their Bible translation. And I agree with that. Christians should not use it. And what is the reason they accept that Christians should not use the word Allah in this country? Because Allah is the name of unique name of God of the God of Islam. Is that the word mean God as this guy he said in his video? So what the Muslim they do when they feel that using the name of Allah by Christians is going to be damaging for them The reason here the Muslims they were upset from the Christians using this name They notice a lot of Muslims convert into Christianity in this country So they thought oh maybe because those churches they are using the same word Allah, which I believe it's very wrong to do because even if you use it as a word mean God, that is not right and should not be allowed. Allah is a word for a pagan God exist long before Muhammad. And we are going to talk about that. So as you see here, the court banned the Christians. And actually, if you use the word Allah now in this country and you are a Christian in the church, you go to jail for many years just for saying the word Allah. But why they decide to do so? Why they decide to ban the Christian from using the word Allah? Because simply the word Allah is the name of the God of Islam. And this is true. It's not a word mean God. Now to expose, you know, to expose this liar more, 
if we go to Islamic books, Islamic uh, official website, not like this guy who, uh, you know, he have no idea what he's talking about. Who is Allah? Islamweb.net. Islamweb.net. Let me show you the website so people will not say what website you are reading from. Let me go up. And uh, here we go. Islamweb.net. You, you see the title, right? <clears throat> so in Islamweb.net, they are giving you an answer about who is Allah. Now, which one they knew who is Allah? This guy who do not know who is Allah and he don't believe in Allah and he is not even a Muslim or the Muslims, who they are scholars answering no more Muslims. Who is Allah? Islam in a brief. And the article date is, this is not written for me. This is written 2012 by Muslims, as you see. So who is Allah? Let us read together. Allah is a proper name of the one true God. Nothing else can call Allah. Nothing else. So it is a name. It's not a title as this idiot he was saying in the video. If you go to his video, he said, <clears throat> Allah, you know, uh, they continue to, ref to refer to Allah as, as God. Is then like the, uh, asking uh, uh, whether uh, Bog is God. What are do you? What, what what does that mean? I don't know. And then let us see. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me go to the video. Hold on. <clears throat> we will not play it all. I mean, but we will just we will scroll down to see the the. So, is the identity whom Muslims and Christians worship is it the same identical? And then he says we will divide it to two uh, cases. Uh, are they belief about uh, character in the uh, of the entity? Okay Let us see here God is radically different from everything. This is according to uh, Supposedly Muslim and Christian they share the same thing There is only one God God created everything Think that is not God that's absolutely false because Muslim believe that God is not the only creator secondly god of islam did not create everything as an example the quran is not created and this is showing us that you are ignorant in this cult this is the islamic fatwa website a high official website of muslims is called islam questions and answers the quran is the word of allah may be exalted is not created but in his video he says both Christians and, and, and Muslims they agree that Allah create uh, God is a created everything except God But as you see the Quran is not created by Allah It's not created by anyone which means it is the divine exist by itself and That is a big problem for the cult. It's called Islam and Then he saws he goes in his article or his uh, his video and he give us a lot of rubbish which is beyond imagination God commands that we love God with our whole being. Okay. Six, God commands that we love our neighbors. That's absolutely a big fat lie. Jesus says, love your enemy, not only love your neighbor. Secondly, Allah said, don't love even your family, and you have to kill the Christians and the Jews. So how, what do you mean love your neighbor? So here you see the deception. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, it says that the Christians and the Jews should be killed unless they convert to Islam or they have to pay the jizya. And here we go, the verses in front of us. So what do you mean love your neighbors? What does that mean? What does that mean? Hmm? Why he's lying to us? Where in, where in the Quran it says love your neighbor? What neighbor are we talking about? Is that the Christians? Is that the Jews? Or this is the Muslim? <clears throat> who is the neighbors so here he tried to mix things up and says the Muslim teach you to uh, love your neighbor and the Christians they say love your neighbor no Christian don't say love your neighbor only Christian says love your enemy and there's a huge difference between love your, your neighbor fight against those who don't believe in Allah here the word fight is in Arabic which means kill 
قاتلوا الذين لا يؤمنون بالله ولا باليوم الآخر ولا يحرمون ما حرم الله ورسوله ولا يدينون دين الحق من الذين أوتوا الكتاب حتى يعطوا الجزية عن يد وهم صاغرون Translation And as you see I'm using Muslim translation Fight and kill the Christians and the Jews because they did not accept Allah but you just told me that we have the same God and they did not believe in the last day of Allah and they do not believe in what is forbidden by Allah and they don't believe in Muhammad and his Allah and yet this guy in his video is saying to us that the Christians they believe in the same God with the Muslims so why why Allah want to kill them <laughs> why Allah want to kill them do you see here they try to fool you then in his video he says that supposedly those things we share right but let me go down in the article here he says there's only one God there's only one God but you see if the Muslim they believe there's only one God doesn't mean that they believe in the same God and let us assume for the sake of argument the Muslim they don't believe in a God his name is Allah they believe they call their God Elohim which is not a name by the way Elohim is, is not the name of the God of the Christians this guy is an idiot he do not know that Allah is a unique name as we showed you from the Islamic website and all the description of God is given in the Bible is not a name when Moses asked uh, God what to say my people to my people who are what's your name he said to him clearly to say what's your name he said to him go and tell them I am who I am he did not give him a name so this guy is an officially not a professor he 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 made a book is going to be a very stupid book for sure and then he says God created everything that is not God and I showed you that the Muslims they believe that Allah did not create the Quran the word of Allah is not to be created not by Allah and not by anyone and this is as you see here this is not my statement there's an article you can search for this just search right now in Google the Quran is the word of Allah may be exalted is and not created and anyone believe that the Quran is a created he is not a Muslim he is an apostate and should be killed according to Islam secondly if we go back in his video he said God is radically different from everything that is not God well this is very silly of you to say so because uh, the God of Islam, he have everything have to do with the human, especially stupidity. As an example, uh, the God of Islam, he don't like to have daughters. He like to have sons. Uh, the God of Islam, uh, you know, he he don't have a wife because he cannot have a, a, a girlfriend. He don't have a girlfriend. If we go in the Quran, we find the following. Allah is saying to us, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend so the God of the Christians he have a son but yet he don't have a girlfriend the God of Islam he cannot have a son because he don't have a girlfriend and that mean a lot this is we find in chapter 6 verse 101 how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend so obviously the God of Islam he understood something we Christians we don't believe in that God in order to have a son he have to sleep with Mary and then they have a baby his name is uh, Yeshua and that is a very funny stupid argument so here we discover that Allah he cannot have a son and he cannot be the creator of everything because when you say he is the creator of everything, it means he's the almighty God who can do anything. But here is saying he, he, he's a question, he's a bit. He says, how can he? And by the way, why Allah keeps saying, how can he, if he is the one is talking? So how can he have a children's when he have no wife? Well, if I say how God, how God can have Jesus from Mary, and she don't have a husband the Muslim they will say to me he's God he can't do that <laughs> right why because this is written in the Quran but if I say how God can have a son we don't but he don't have a girlfriend they say this is logical 
Do you see the do you see the ignorance? How it's logical for Mary for you to have a son, but yet she have no man, and it's logical for Allah to say how he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend. Why isn't he the same God who is the uh, the God of Mary? Obviously not, because the God of Mary he can make Mary have a son, yet she don't have a man. But the God of Islam he cannot have a son because he don't have a wife. So he put a condition about his ability and look this is a muslim translation translation saying how can he you see how can how can who is questioning the the, the word can here allah so if allah is saying how can he that's mean how can he that's it he is questioning the ability and he is putting conditions which is equal to the condition of a human being like me i'm single i don't have a children well that's very logical i don't have a wife i don't have a woman so it's very normal for me not to have a children. But here we are talking about God. So the God of Islam, he cannot have a son unless he have a wife. That's mean he's the same as us. In the best scenario, he's a man, like any man who cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Then <clears throat> uh, this guy, he said in the video that the Muslim, they say in the Shahada, they say there's no God but, uh, but God. Like what? The Muslim they say in their in their shahada there's no God but God. I think this guy is taking too much hashish. I never heard any Muslim saying there's no God but God. Anyone heard that before? Anyone saw a Muslim taking shahada saying there's no God but God? Let us look for it where he says no God but God. <clears throat> Here we go. The Muslim they take Shahada, they said, No God is at the part. Hold on. One true and just God. Hmm. No God but one. Well, this is the Christian supposed is to. a quote that comes from the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. But I want to find where he says, uh, the, the Muslim they take Shahada, they say, No God but God. Where is this part? It's in the video, but I don't remember exactly where he said that. Let me search for it. Me of the Ten Commandments. Here we go. You see here he says, look at this lie. He said that the Muslim, they say, no God but God. And he said clearly that this is the Shahada. I challenge this guy to tell me who is a Muslim who says that. Where we can find this Shahada, Shahada mean witnessing, that no God but God. That is the most stupid statement ever I hear from somebody claiming to be a professor in Semitic religion. Because Muslims don't say that. They say no God but Allah. Not no God but God. And that the reason he says that no God but God because he's trying to make you believe that the word God is the word Allah is just a word being God But the fact it's not This is why let us get him busted from the words of Muhammad Maybe this guy he know more than Muhammad about his religion Maybe here we go. This is Muhammad saying the Shahada. He been ordered to kill all mankind not only the Christians I have been commanded to kill all mankind Enter they testify there's no God but Allah except Allah. Do you see it? So if Allah is just a word God, that would be stupid to say there's no God but God. Because you deny who and you accept who? <laughs> you know what I mean? When you say there's no God but God, that's stupid. It's like saying no zucchini but zucchini. Do you do you deny zucchini or you accept zucchini? But he is not saying there's zucchini, but zucchini. He is saying no God, but Allah. Do you see it? So this guy, he claimed to be a professor, but the fact he is a prof dinosaur. He have no idea what he's talking about. Secondly, I mean, he is giving us a speech about Allah and the Christians. The Christian, they say the word Allah, and we showed you that this is why. But... He forgot the most important thing. He don't want to mention in purpose. 
it's deception. He said to us, the Quran says, the Muslim, they say they believe, love your neighbor. The Bible says that too. But look, the Quran says, Allah, he hate the Christians and he supply hate to the Christians until judgment day. So how Allah is the same God of the Christians, yet he target the Christians and he want to spread hate between them until judgment day. So we planted hatred amongst them, hatred, enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. How much does God, Allah, he hate those Christians? But remember the Christians supposedly they believe in Allah. And he said to us, they pray to Allah. And he said to us that they, they, believe, they accept Allah as God. So why Allah want to spread hate between them? You know what I'm saying, guys? If we have the same God, then why Allah, he hate us very much? If we Christians, we pray every Sunday in the church to Allah, why Allah want to wanna do this to us? And by the way, here, when this guy, he says the Christians and the, and the Jews and the Muslim believe, love your neighbor. Where is the love of the neighbor? Is that the love of the neighbor? How I can love my neighbor now? Allah, he is saying, if Allah is God, this God is going to make me hate my neighbor. If you don't believe me, the person in front of you. <laughs> so if there is a Christian, he hate his neighbor. That's because Allah, he make him hate him. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Abu, he is a Muslim when I call me. No problem. Abu, I will take your call. I will, I will open my Skype as long uh, as soon as I finish my points. No problem. <coughs> so here we see this the, the stupidity and the the uh, uh uh, the miss uh, uh, teaching or let us say uh, deception I, I call it this there's no way this guy I don't know I mean, I mean you call yourself a professor in in the uh, Semitic uh, mythology but you don't not read that Allah is a moon God who have three daughters we find in the Quran that the Arab they worship a God who have a three daughters Uh, Mr. Abu, if you call me, can you tell me where is the three daughters coming from? Let me open sky for you. Maybe you have an answer. <clears throat> All right, my friend, I'm logging in Skype. Why the Arab? Give me your ID. I will call. Actually, your name is here. Hold on. I see you. Okay, I will call you. <laughs> answer, Abu, answer. Hello? Hello? Mute you too, please. Hello? Yes. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you think about why the Arab, <coughs> why the Arab, they believe that Allah have three daughters? Oh, so we're talking about that now. Okay. Yeah, this is the topic now. What do you think? Um, you know what? I, I don't. What? I don't know why the Arabs, you know, thought or believed um, that you know God had three daughters. Okay. So, do Allah have a three daughters or not? No, He does not. Okay. Did your prophet send anyone to kill his daughters? Uh, repeat that. Did your prophet send anyone to kill the daughters of Allah? Did the prophet say send, what? Send. Did your prophet send anyone to kill the daughters of Allah? Um, no. Okay. So that's mean if 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 we can find the story where Muhammad he sent his army to kill the daughters of Allah, that's mean he believed that Allah have daughters, right? 
um, you can find stories from you know uh, websites claiming from websites. What was what you know, website? No, uh, not not from, not from website. Islamic books. <laughs> Islamic books. Are you trying to back up yourself now, saying yeah? Uh, you can find okay. Or All right. So yeah. why Islamic books saying that Allah Prophet he sent his find his sources hmm. from uh, the uh, the the. The Sahihain. Hmm. What sources you want? Like what sources you like? What book? Well, I like what, the sources. Okay, huh? when we read Quran, where you go to explain the Quran? Which book you accept? Uh, <coughs> the Sahihain. Sahihain explain the Quran. I never heard that. I never heard there's a book. It's called Sahihain explain the Quran. Is that a book of the Quran? I'm asking uh, you the Quran which book, which and book you the Hadith, which, which are okay which the tafsir, saying, which book of the my friend which book of interpretation you accept explain the Quran no I don't accept anything hmm. why you don't accept anything or why Islam is a stupid religion for you because the sources of Islam is hmm. the Quran or the, and the Hadith okay so okay the sources of the Islam is the Quran or the Hadith okay so when the Muslim give interpretation for the Quran how they give interpretation from where from the hadith okay from the, and the quran itself all right and, okay yeah. i just ask you the daughter of allah allah he gave birth to them from where do he have a wife according to the hadith where, where the name is no according to what it, uh, god does not have any you know daughters hmm. you don't have any daughters he have a, do you have a boy no daughters or sons okay. you know he doesn't have any did, did allah refuse to have daughters because he he liked to have a son uh what did allah refuse to have daughters because this is not fair division because allah he liked to have son and they are taking for them the uh, boys no that's that's not it okay well this when god it? says is it for you the males and for him the females hmm. you know there it he's um uh, pointing out the illogicality hmm. of the arabs no but he's saying this is indeed a division uh most unfair yeah it okay uh, it's, so yeah, what, it's is unfair, say, what is unfair that, about it? Uh, what is, what is the unfair? Is unfair. Listen, what is unfair about it? Because you know they don't want uh, females, but you know they give him females. Okay, so but he's you know, upset. That, he's but he's but he's, he's like, pointing okay, out. But he's the, like the illogical. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. That, so, so um, who is the one who don't like females now? It's your Allah. Allah is saying this is not unfair. He, he, he's saying like what hello for you the male for me the female so the one who don't like yeah, females it's, it's pointing uh has he's pointing to uh, hmm. to um uh illogicality of that division i mean why is that why is that why this is illogical Th those people they believe they, they worship it's females. illogical because you know he, he, you want males but you give you know that so-called god hmm. females i mean can't you think hmm. what can you can you think what i did not get what what I, I did not understand can't you think what what's wrong with that they they believe that uh, females are goddess so what's wrong with that for for you as yeah the, as they Ojibwe. believe that females are goddess okay. but they don't want well, females that, no, they no, want, no they that's not true the one who don't like males. them okay this is why allah is saying this is not unfair so because, how is that okay, listen 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 how somebody believe that god is a female but yet he hates females this is stupid to say what how somebody worship females but yet he don't like females That's the problem. That's the <laughs> logic. Now listen, listen. In the front of me, Arabs. in the front of me, there's a there's they a. They don't want females, this is, but this they is tafsir. Gave, you know, listen, God listen, females? listen, listen. In the front of me, there's tafsir. How's that logical? Listen, listen. In the front of me, there's a tafsir. That when Allah messengers conquered Mecca, He sent Khadim al Walid to the area of Nakhla, where the idols and, of Al Azza okay. were created. Where did you get this? Where huh? did you get this? Ibn Kathir. Yeah, see, see, you're 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 not. Uh, referring to the hadith hmm. or the Quran. Well, this is hadith because your prophet he says your prophet said so. And no, he didn't. Well, this is hadith. It says when the prophet he you know he conquered, he sent Khalid and he said to him, Let us read what Muhammad said. Here we go. The prophet said, read carefully with me. The prophet said, Go back and finish the mission. He sent him to to kill somebody there, and we will find out who is that uh, uh, body. It says the idol of Al Uzza was there. He erected the, the, the uh, three, uh, three trees in the forest. Khaled cut out the three trees and he approached the house built around around it and he destroyed it. When he went back to the Prophet, informed him the story, which means what he did. The Prophet said to him, What does that mean? Go back. You did nothing. You did not finish your mission. 
you have not finished it yet Khalid went back and when he uh, 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 like he, he arrived there there was also servant of al-uzza there's people who serve al-uzza they saw him and they started invoking by calling al-uzza when Khalid approached it the, the, the al-uzza he found a naked woman who whose hair was uh, like like a crazy and who was a throwing sand on her head Khalid he killed her with the sword and he went back to the message of Allah and he the Prophet he said to him Tilka al -uzza. he said that was al -uzza. do you agree with that Un unless that's from uh, you know authentic hadith my friend I, 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 I don't this, agree. Is, this is the game of the Muslims in the, unless this is authentic hadith I mean what's wrong with this religion nothing in this religion is authentic so if this is not authentic why you Muslim don't burn those books we don't we're not into you know burning books please. why not why not okay but this is a, this is a lie then either this is a lie or this is a true why this book is why you say Ibn Kathir is a big scholar or called to be a tabari and the second we read something from their books you start having a uh, poo, poo so either their books is accepted or their book is garbage is his book is garbage again uh well they they, they tend to make you know mm, mistakes too they're human my friend I, I i understand they're human is your prophet is a human too or his god he was human. Okay, when your prophet he ordered to kill Al Uzza, how you know that this is not a mistake from the prophet who believed that Al Uzza is really daughter of Allah? How you know that this is not a true story? Well, how do I know that's a true story? Okay, because here we go. Your this is your scholars. Uh, they are referring to it. So when you say yeah, to me, scholars, how I know? Scholars. How I know? Hold on, hold on. When you, you will say to me, how I know this is a true story? You are asking me to prove to you that your books are wrong. This is stupid of you to do. The books may be wrong if they're from human, but you know, the hadith, okay. is, is the Quran from a human or the Quran of, who, the, is the Quran from a human? What is the Quran? Is it from a human? No, the Quran is from God. Are you sure? I am very sure. Okay, so the Quran is from God. I like that actually. The Quran is from God. What is the proof that the Quran is from God? What? What is the proof that this is the from God, not from Muhammad? Well, if it's not from you know God, then mm. you would find many discrepancies or contradictions. No problem. Here we go. I have one. Here we go. Why the Quran saying that this is the word of the messenger? Why the Quran uh, because, saying that this yes, is the I word? I was talking about that to another Christian the other day. Uh, my friend, you know what does it say? This is, is does it say? Know, does, it, does it say that this is a speech of a of a of a great messenger or honorable messenger? Does it say that the Quran is a speech of honorable messenger? Uh, could you? Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, hmm. oh, oh, where's the um? Where's the verse? Chapter 69 verse number 40 It's not okay chapter 8. I see chapter 81 verse number 19 refresh refresh your sure. chapter 69 verse number 40 40 yeah in no love hmm. yeah uh, who, say, is the, who is the one talking here the, the, is the, next, the, the next verse you see hmm. what the next verse says hmm. okay so you, You're uh, pulling up. He is not a poetry it's man. Okay. okay. He's not saying a poet this is it. He is not. Um, uh, he is not uh, a kahan. The, the kohan is those people who uh, they they used to speak the same kind of uh, like we call it saja in in Arabic. So he's saying, I am not of those, and this is my speech. So the Muhammad confirming that the Quran is his words. Uh, okay, what what what's the question again? Okay, what the question? If this is a book of revelation, how the Quran says this is the words of uh, this is a speech of a prophet? Because if it's revelation, it's not a speech of a prophet. It's revelation from Allah. It cannot be a revelation and a speech of a prophet. So if God He said to a prophet, say this, this is not His speech. This is a speech of God. So either this is a speech of a prophet or this is a speech of Allah. It's a speech of Okay, who? good. Okay, can I can I answer now? Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, 
Um, <coughs> you know that. You know what a messenger is. No, I do not know. A messenger. No, no, you know mean? he um delivers message. Mm. Just you know the delivers messages. That's the so that's what mm. what that Quran is saying mm. is that it is the speech of an of an illustrious messenger. Mm. That means the messenger is delivering the message. Yeah, but it says no. A messenger. It, it's not does saying not he make delivering. His own no, message. he says it's a speech. That's what it means. No, no. It doesn't say he deliver. He deliver. It says he but is. That's what messenger means. Ah, okay. Let me ask you. So when Allah He said in the Quran, the sun set, the sun set in the murky water. Is that the message of the messenger or the message of Allah? Uh, could you say that again? When the Quran says the sun set in the murky water, muddy, hot water, boiling okay. water, is that the message from uh, Allah okay. or message from the messenger? Uh, the Quran does not say that. Oh, it says that in the front of me, chapter eighteen, verse number eighty-six. Uh, pull up the verse. Okay. I, I'm still seeing 6940. No problem. Why you don't open from your side? Don't you have a computer? Now hang on. Hmm. Uh, what 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 is it? 1886. Surah. Surah. What? 1886. Let me sing it for you. 18, 1886. 1886. The sun set in its eggs, which is a boiling water. Look, look, look at what it says. I'm he found it. Hey, who, who found it? Who is saying that? Okay, who is the one who said he that? He found it. Hmm, who is what? What does that huh? mean? What does that mean? It means. He um perceived he perceived that it was setting in a muddy state. Wajada Hameen perceived or Wajada Hameen he found it. You just said found it. Did he say yes? He okay. he found he it. Found it. He okay. saw so it. So who is the one saying he found it? Who is the one saying that? Uh God. Okay, so when Allah he says he found it, that's mean he is repeating a he's he's reporting a find, correct? Uh it means he saw it, he perceived it. No, 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 no. It, you just said found it and don't lie. It says he found yes, it. Yes, okay. Found so it. When I say I, when I say this Abdul, he went to his house and he found it in fire. I am saying he found it. This is a find, it's a fact. Yeah, he found it. It okay. means uh perceived it. What perceived it mean? I mean, if you look at the lanes lexicon, that's what it what that's what it says. What 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 lexicon mean? I mean, just found. listen to me. What 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 do you mean when he say Allah? He said he found it. What does that mean? Explain to me. It means he perceived it. What does that he mean? Saw I don't it. understand. What does that mean? Explain to me more. He saw it. Okay, so he like he sees he it. it. He sees it. Okay, with his okay. eyes. Let me let us read together. It says that this man he took a road. Allah is talking now. Till till. When he reached the sitting place of the sun, where we can find the sitting place of the sun? Uh, well, it says, uh, uh okay. Mm. Hatta ida balaga. Okay. Until, mm. hatta means mm -hmm. until. Mm. Okay. Mm. Until mm. is, mm. uh, it, it, it is connected with time. Mm, okay. So when it so it's saying mm. that when it was time mm. for the setting of the sun. No, no, no. It doesn't say that. He said till when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where yes. Is, until where is the sitting place of the sun? I, I mean, listen, when, listen, listen. The guy who took a road, he keep walking, keep walking, keep walking until he reached a place, which is the place where the sun set. Correct. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say it's setting place. Okay, let me ask you. Do you know the Quran better than your prophet? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Did it you, says. Did your prophet explain this verse? The setting. Let us. Let us. Let us. You reach the setting of the sun. Thank you. No, the setting place. No, the setting place. No, the setting place. place. The setting place of the sun. Okay, let me ask you. What? If somebody he believe or he understand this verse. That it's speaking about the sun set in the murky water. Do you think he's an ignorant? He's a stupid? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So anyone, guys, he believe 
that the sun sit in a muddy water. He is ignorant and he is stupid. And this is the statement of our friend here. He's no, understand. he saw it setting. In I know, I know, but you agreed. Spring. You agreed. You just agreed that anyone he believed that the sun sit in a murky water, he is stupid and he is ignorant. Do you agree with that? Yeah. If, if he says, you know, it spreads, it's you know, sets in a muddy spring. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. So this That's is your prophet, stupid. but this is your prophet saying that. No, that's not what you know the prophet here, said. Here we go. The hadith in front of you read it. I I can't see it. Hmm. Here we go. It's in front of your eyes. Uh I'm 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 lagging. Hmm. No problem. You will find the sitting sun of the sun, please, uh, soon, very soon. Just keep walking. I'm still seeing till when he reached hmm. the setting place. Hmm. What about now? Did you say inshallah? If you don't say inshallah, nothing will work, my friend. Say inshallah, you will see it right away. Uh, my ping, I think my ping is high. I'm still no, my seeing friend, my friend, you see it and you are trying to read it because you just already exposed your prophet. Don't tell me you don't see it until now. I'm still seeing. I think you will never see it. I, I think place. I think you will never see it. I think you will never see it. Not even tomorrow. This is what I think. I don't know. I have a feeling that you are going to be blind now. You didn't see it until now. Okay, I see. I fear that. Okay, now I see who was. Hmm. What do you see now? Okay, now I see it. Okay, what read for us? Okay, I was sitting behind the messenger of God who was riding a donkey. Oh yeah. Oh, um, read, read, read it. Read. What do you mean? Yeah. What, no. What, what, what? Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. In the hadith, does it say oh yeah? It doesn't say oh yeah. Read the hadith for us, my friend. Uh, I think everyone can read. No. Why you don't want to read it? Are you ashamed of your prophet because you said that the one who believe in this is a stupid and he is ignorant? You said that. You agreed. No. I. Uh, what? Uh, oh, you said that a second ago. It's recorded. E -a -o. How, who, who, no, yeah. I talked about this to a uh, to a Christian before. Don't, don't I, tell I me. Don't, don't, don't change don't topic. Don't change topic. You say the one who believed that the sun set in the Mercury. Don't, 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 don't change later. topic. I don't care. You spoke to who? You spoke to the Hindu, to the Buddha, to the Jews. You speak to Allah. No problem. Now you say that the one who believed the sun set in the murky water, he is an ignorant and he is stupid. This is what your prophet he believed. Read it. Can we come back, come back to this later? No, we cannot come back because here we go. Either you are saying, either you are a truthful person. Oh, and you say yes. What this is what I said, and obviously my prophet is not a prophet. Or you say, okay, I believe what the prophet said, and this is the truth. Can we come back to this? We later, can come back. Please? We can come back. But now we are stuck with the sun in the swimming pool. I cannot come back to you unless it's daytime. We have to wait until the sun comes from the swimming pool and dry itself. So now I want you to answer me. Do you well, believe your prophet by saying that is a stupid, ignorant, or he is a smart man speaking and the messenger of God? The problem is he did not say that. My friend, the problem is he but said I that. Read carefully. I was sitting behind the message of Allah. S-A-W. Do you know what S-A-W mean? This is a very short way for radio stations. Your prophet, he received his stations. His He have antenna. He received from Allah directly. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? He asked, do you know where they set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best for sure. Muhammad knows everything because he's, he knows everything Allah knows. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Again, can we come back to this? No problem. So no, no need to come back. Already you said that he is ignorant. Everybody heard you. No, let me. Okay. okay, I'll, okay. I will let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Your we, you know, we other were, video. We, 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 were, we were I'm talking. Not, okay, I, okay, I listen, listen. talk about listen, that right Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. In the video, the guy who is in the video, he was saying Allah is a word meaning God. Uh, yeah. Is it the word meaning God or it's a name of God? That's um, that's the the, um, the 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 topic I, I wanted to come back to. Um, could you repeat the question? <laughs> this is the topic you want to come back to. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> yes. So how do you know this is the topic you want to come back to, but you cannot even know what the question I just said to you? 
Uh, I, I, I was not listening. Uh, I didn't so hear how, you. So how you were not listening, but you say to me, this is the topic I want to go back to, but you cannot even because remember what I just said to you. Because about in, uh, Allah and okay. God. Listen, so, so is Allah, is mind. Allah, is a name of the God, or it's a word, is, is Allah, is a name of the God, only the God of Islam, or it is the Hindus can say Allah? Um, It's a word that means God. Who said that? Um, you know, pe who? I can't tell you who says that because you know I don't I don't remember the people who ah. said that off the top of my head. Okay, okay. Here it says in the first in the Quran it says, in the name of Allah. Uh huh. And then the beneficent, the merciful. So what what is his name? What does it mean? It just said what it means. Okay, does it say name? Does it say that Allah is a name? Literally. Yes. No, no, no. It doesn't say that Allah is a name. Okay. Do you it think says, the one who would believe that Allah is a name, not a word meaning God, is a stupid idiot? No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm asking you again. If I show you your prophet saying that Allah is the, is the name of the God, are you going to accuse your prophet the same as you said about the sunset, that he is an idiot too? I'm saying don't tell me I'm saying I'm saying my friend Allah. I am sick of I'm saying you are saying I'm asking you a direct question you give me a direct answer do you accept your prophet mm -hmm. giving definition that Allah is the name of his God yes or no it's a name yeah sure okay so it's a name or it's not it is it can be a, na a no, no, name don't tell me it can be is it a name or it's not no no Okay, when you say Shahada, what do you say? Uh, do you want it? You, do you want me to say it in Arabic or Doesn't in English? Matter. Say it in Arabic. Say it in English. No problem. You have to translate okay. it. Okay. In English, mm. I would. Uh, in English, mm. I would say there is no God but God. Mm. Can you show me one book in Islam that says there is no God but Islam, but, but but God? That's stupid to say. There is no zucchini but zucchini. You deny zucchini. So how there is zucchini? I can't give you books right now. Okay, read, I, I don't read, have read for me. Read for me. me. Read for me. It says here in chapter three, verse number eighteen. Uh huh. Allah shahid Allah. You speak Arabic, right? Shahid Allah and Nahula. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, who is the one who witness? What his name? The one who witness that there's no God but Him. Who is the one? What his name? Uh, could you uh, open? Uh, pull up the um the verse. Shahid Allah and Nahula ilaha illahu wal malaika tuhu. Uh, who are what? Who are what? Who are what? Read it, read it. What? Who are what? It's okay. You don't speak. You pull, it's okay. You don't speak. You the, the, okay. Your Arabic you is funny. The, the, okay. Your Arabic is funny. You, it's okay. I will let it go. Now, Allah pull, himself. Uh, okay. Allah witness. First, okay. I Allah. Remember the verse. Allah. He witnessed that there is no. I cannot remember the hmm. verse. Could you pull it up? Do you accept this translation in front of me or you don't accept it? I can't see it. Sh it says, I see Shahru Ramadan al Ladi. My friend, what translation you accept as a Muslim? Uh, let's see the Arabic one. You didn't speak good Arabic. I noticed that your Arabic is funny. Uh, let's see the Arabic one. Here we go. Read it. it, it it's not showing. I, I'm seeing 18. The, the, my the, friend, the, um, the stop doing that. Open from your website. Okay, now it's it. Okay. Uh, God witnesses that there is no God except him mm. and no, the, 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 the angels and the people okay. of knowledge. All right, let us see. Let us see. Did Allah say there is no Allah but Allah or he says there is no Allah? He says there is no God but him. It says there is no Ilah except mm. Allah. Okay. Is Allah there is, is the no same? God. Oh, is Allah is uh, the same? The lowest as, is God. Okay. Is this, all right. Is the word the Allah is the same G. as Ilah? Is it the same word? Allah is a contract, a contraction of hmm. Al Ilah. Really? Who said that? Who, who give me the name of the donkey? He said that. Again, I don't have the resources with me. Okay. Well, I have. I have here Muslims explain to us in their website, and this is fatwa. They are saying that Allah is not, uh, it's, it's, an, it's a unique name. So why you are saying to me something you Muslim don't believe in? What's wrong with you Muslims? Until now you are not convinced what Allah and what, he, what his name is about. Here we go. Who is Allah? This is your Muslim website saying, 
Allah is the proper name of the one true God. Nothing else can be called Allah. I, I'm not seeing what you're saying on the screen. I'm saying, I, I'm seeing, you know, Shahid Allah. My friend, why the Muslim they say, the rest. why they are saying here, Allah is the proper name of the one God, one true God. Nothing else can be called Allah. Nothing else. And that's right. Okay, so, so I ask you, if the word Allah mean God, that means the Hindu they can say uh, Allah uh, when they when no, they no, no, they can't. They can't. They can't. Thank you. Why they cannot? Why they cannot? Because you know what they call God hmm. are not God. Ah, huh. so so the, so Allah then is not a word mean God. Allah must be a name. Uh, no. Okay, hold on. I, Okay, listen, I mean, listen, I'm listen. saying, okay. I'm saying that, listen, yes, listen, 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 I'm listen, saying listen. That Let me show you how you contradict yourself. Listen, in, in, in USA, all of us, we speak English here. So if there is a guy, he's a Hindu, he used the same word I use, it's called God, God in English. You Muslim now, you're talking to me, you say the word God. And why you don't have a problem with it? Because it's just a generic word for God, right? But uh, now, no, I do have a problem with, you know, Hindus or Christians calling non gods God. No, no, but the word God itself, they use it and it's not a problem for you, right? No, uh, uh, it is a problem. Mm, it is a problem. Why? Yeah, I, I do have a problem with uh, you know, non Muslims calling non gods God. This is not, I'm not talking about wrong worship. I'm saying using the word. So when a Hindu, he used the word God, he don't mean Allah, right? If a Hindu uses God and what? If his if a Hindu he worshiping his God and he say the word God, do he mean Allah or he means something else? No, the Hindus are not worshiping their gods. They're worshiping, you know, things that they call God. Mm, okay, but they, they don't mean Allah, right? Because Allah is the proper name of the one. They don't mean God and they don't mean Allah. Thank you. So Allah is not a word being God. Allah is only a name for the uh, God of Muslims. How, how, did you, how did you get Allah doesn't mean God from what I said? No, I'm not saying I that. I just told you. God I'm not saying that. I'm saying Allah, 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 Allah is, is the name of the God of the Muslim, which means he is a God, supposedly, but this is his name, correct? God can be named, Allah can be a name. God is a name. What? So so how you Muslim you say there's no God and then you say but Allah. If God is a name, then you are saying there's no there's no, no God. In Arabic you would say la ilaha illallah. There is no ilah except Allah. Okay, what but in what English, what ilah mean? We would say what, there what is no God what ilah mean? lowercase g okay, what ilah mean? except for what, God. What, what ilah mean? Uppercase. G. What ilah mean? What? What ilah mean? In English, it would it be God? No, don't mean English. Lower case in Arabic, what ilah mean? The word uh, ilah. When you say, don't tell me, I'm for sure speaking English, but I'm saying the meaning of it. What ilah mean? God, right? Yes, in okay. English, it means God. So there's God. no God, Lower case but who? Lower there's case no, okay, there's no Lower God. Case okay, listen, there's no Hello? God, there's no God, but, Lower case but who? Who is the one who is the only God? What's his name? Uh, What? Who is the one who is the only true God according to Islam? What's his name? Oh, he has 99 names. No, they are attributes. They are not names. So they're not names. No, they so are you attributes. Call, you don't call them names. We do. So if you don't, uh, so if I agree with okay. you that they're, Allah they're not is names, Allah is a name or my, attribute. Okay, listen, listen. God, is Allah, God, is Allah, is a name. Nameless. Listen, listen. Is, a, is Allah a name or attribute? God is can be a name Allah this isn't the question is Allah specifically is Allah a name or attribute Allah means God this is not so, the question you know this is not the question this, this, this is another question is Allah a name or attribute what do you mean attribute you, you, now you do not know what attribute means. You keep saying attribute, attribute, and now you do not know attribute. Is no, Allah a name? You are the one who is Allah saying attribute. No, you are the one who says to me, Allah have ninety nine. Okay, I'm, as, I'm saying to you. So the Muslim they say his attribute. So when when you say, okay, listen, listen. Uh, I did not say attribute. You are the one who first right, started right, using okay. that word. What is the name of your God? Give me his name. Be honest. What? Just give me his name. What is his name? Your okay, God. The name of my God. Hmm. Are 99 of them. What is the name of your God? Are you giving me 99 names now? 
What is the name of your God? I can, but okay. you know, what is the I, I don't okay? Think what is actually. what is the name your Muslim use for your God when you pray for him? We use the 99 names. Hmm. So, who is Allah? Allah means God. Allah means God. Mm -hmm. So, this is not the God, this is just a word mean God. Yes. It's the word so why that here means are, God. So why and here the they are? God so why here they are lying? So why here? Why it. here they are lying and saying Allah is the proper name of the one true God? Nothing else can be called Allah. Like I said, Allah or God can be a proper name. What? But but it says here nobody can be called that name. Of course, nobody can be called God except God. No, you know you can't call Jesus God. Okay, listen, listen, Jesus listen. Is not okay, God. okay, listen, you listen, listen. Can't listen. call the Father okay. God. If somebody, because, if, if somebody, you know, if somebody, okay, listen. Uh, when your God, when when the God of Islam, he introduced himself in the Quran. What what he called himself? God. What what does that mean? What is the word? In English, it would be God. What is that word? No, what is that word in Arabic? What he introduced himself with? What in he Arabic, it would be Allah. Okay. So why he's saying he is Allah? What do you mean? Why is he say why is God saying he's God? What kind of question is that? No, but he is introducing himself that he is a person who is called Allah, not a person who is a word being God. And the Quran is full of example. Well, of course God is... It Okay, let you know me, God let, himself is not a word, but the word God okay is the is a word. All right. I want you to read this verse for me. Uh, I can't see the verse. Yeah, I will show it to you, no problem. <clears throat> let us see here. Read this verse for me. Read Chapter it. 6, verse uh, number 102. We're going to have to wait about 30 seconds because I'm saying no Allah problem. is the proper name of the one true God. Nothing else can be called Allah. I think my ping is high. Hmm. Now, do you see it? I see in the deen in the Allah al Islam. No. You are using the internet of the neighbors, I guess. No problem. No. Okay. So read for me now. I'm seeing why you are waiting for me. Him okay. Why you are waiting for me? Why you don't open the verse? I'm giving you the verse number, the chapter. Open it from okay, the Okay. Side. Okay. I'll do it. Um. What, what was that? Chapter six. Chapter, verse, chapter six. Verse one o two. Verse. Hmm. What? What's the verse number? Chapter six. One o two. One o two. Hmm. Chapter six. Okay, now my my internet's slow. Not only your internet is slow, everything you have is slow, my friend. Okay, see it. Okay. Rabbukum la ilaha illahu. Okay, how that can be? If Allah is a word being God, how he say God, God? What does that mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm using pickthon. So such is. So he did not translate the word Allah into English. Hmm. If he did, it would be such is God, your Lord. There is no God except Him. <laughs> Look how many times the word God repeated. Then so so who is the one who's confirmed to be God here? Who what, who who is He? There's no. So you are saying to me, let us change this. So such is God, your Lord. There's no God but uh, God. This is the most stupid statement ever. But, so who is the God? Now I'm confused. Who is the one? No, is it's the, not stupid. No, okay. You know, so who the, is the God the, uh, we are talking about? If, if it says such a God, if Allah is a word mean God, so such a God is your God. There's no God but this God. Who is this God? God. Who is he? He is God. Who is he? What do you mean who is he? Who is he, he this is person? God. Who is this one you call him okay, God? Okay. You are talking I'll about tell who? you who he is. No, who he is, okay? No, you are talking about who? I'm talking about hmm. the one, the one, uh -huh. Allahu Ahad, Allahu hmm. uh, God, he, who is independent, hmm. 
not begotten and not you know begetting hmm. that's him first, that's God. first first the verse you quote for me it doesn't say that Allah is one that's a false translation it says Qul huwa Allahu uh, ahad. Ahad, the word ahad in Arabic mm -hmm. mean one of yes it means one not one not of one of here if we go say, uh, all those verses in the front of you listen Abdul. Min listen Abdul all those verses saying the word I had you see it I had I had I had I had look how many look how many look how many I can show you in this now, I, I, can't, I can't see it because okay. so you know, listen, like I said so, my, my, my okay the word I had here the chapter 9 verse number 84 as an example or chapter 9 verse number 6 let us take this one why the Muslim translate that the word I had as if anyone but he says just the word I had in Arabic it says uh, hang on what 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 verse is it? In Arabic, it says word ahad. Any any verse you want. There's many of them. Which which, which there's tons of them. Which one you which want me to verse? show you? Which are you looking at my screen? Are you looking at I'm my screen? Seeing, what, right, I'm saying such is Allah okay. your Lord. I'm, I'm I'm asking, Allah. Okay, okay, listen. I don't know. That's why. what I'm saying on the screen right now. All right. I think you know my my ping is high. Your ping is high. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? The, the internet ping. Mm. If it's if it's too high, you know, uh, I'll get you know a few seconds mm. late. Mm. Well, all those verses you see them in the screen. They are saying the word ahad, and they are saying mean ahad translation all over. It is uh, one off. So when a Muslim they say "Qul huwa Allahu ahad," they are saying Allah is one off. Let me ask you here. Did Allah He says, if you want to take a uh, take a, a wife, we will take it from our ourselves. What? Did Allah says, if you want to take a wife, He will take it from ourselves. If you want to take what? A, 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 a girlfriend. A, sorry, a, a girlfriend. I can't hear you. Did Allah say, if we want to take a woman to sleep with her, we will take it from ourselves? If I take a woman, well, I don't see it. Ch okay, chapter 21. Read, look at the screen. What, the tra what translation you are reading, you told me? What translation you are reading? I'm looking at your, I'm looking at your screen. It says, you know, what you know, I mean, like, yeah. Look at the translation of the Muslims, how funny it is. It says here, I mean, every Muslim, he gives a different translation. Does it say here in Arabic? If we want to take a woman for, for sex, we will take it from ourselves. Who is ourselves? Every Muslim gives us different translation. What verse is that? I, I, I'm not seeing your verse. My friend. I just gave you chapter 21, verse number 17. Hang on, I'll pull it up. Surah, what? Chap chapter 2117. 2117, okay. Mm. Okay. So if Allah okay. will take a girlfriend to have sex with her, He will take it from ourselves. How Allah will sleep with ourselves? Who is ourselves Allah will sleep with? In the Lahuan is not uh, uh, what do you call that? A woman. It no. says pastime. What pastime mean? Huh? What pastime mean? What pastime? No. I think you should read uh, the verse before that. No, no, tell me. I don't care. I don't care. Tell me what pastime mean. You are the one who read 10 verses before, 10 verses after. What pastime mean? No, it says it says we created not the my heaven friend, and the my earth. Friend, and my friend, my friend, don't waste my time. Okay, what you said it's pastime. Okay, what pastime mean? Allah will take a pastime. What does that mean? In this verse, uh, people, you know, said that, you know, God created the heaven, you know, in play. Hmm. So God said, if we, you know, if he wanted to, you know, find, you know, uh, playtime, we hmm. could have found it in ourselves. Hmm. You know, in okay, our so Allah will play with himself? What does that mean? Yeah. Hmm. So 
Okay, let me ask you. He, it says in Arabic. God, he, it says if in God Arabic, wanted to okay, play. In Arabic, it says min ladunna. What ladunna mean? What? Min ladunna. Ladun. What ladun mean? Ladunna. From ourselves. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Ladunna. So it's not past time. So for ourselves. So guys, he just said. So if Allah want to take something, he said it is having fun. He will take it from ourselves. What is that thing Allah will play with from ourselves? Is Allah is one, or he is ourselves? That's called the, the plural, the royal plural. Mm, but he will play with himself. No, no, it doesn't say he wanted to play with himself. He said if he wanted, you know, some pastime, mm. he could he could do it himself. Okay, this is according to who? The Quran itself. Just look. Okay. Well, let us see because you are trying to deceive us, and we have to show the the the, the people here that you are. You know, obviously, either ignorant or you are lying. Here we go. This is tafsir. Okay. All short of seal. You know, who cares about what you say? Because you are no one, and you don't count even for anyone. I mean, even yourself, you 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 don't know what to say here. And obviously, you are trying just to like somebody. He saw a hole in the jeans, trying to uh, fix it. You know, and put some stitches here and there to make it look nicer. Chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. Let us see what the Muslim scholars, not me and you, uh, says. Whatever the Muslim scholars says. Uh, this is mean. This is what the Muslim believe. All right. Okay. This is verse number seventeen. I will put it on the screen in a second, and everybody will see that your God is a go uh, talking about having sex with women. If he like to have sex with the women, he will do from ourselves. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Okay. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. I will put it for you on the screen, and I want you to read it. Go ahead. Mute you too, please. Mute YouTube. So what? You, you want me to read it? I don't. I don't. I don't even know what to read. I see. Read, read. Verse sixteen. We created not the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them for a mere play. Hmm. That's what I see. No problem. Refresh your page. Click refresh. Click, 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 refresh, and and mute YouTube. You're gonna have to wait for about thirty seconds. Mute YouTube. Mute the sound in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Hear me only from Skype, please. What? Mute, I can't see mute, it on, the, on your screen. Mute, mute YouTube so mute. I don't hear myself twice. I'm hearing myself twice. Now. No, you, I, I, you can't be hearing yourself twice because I'm only, I have muted uh, hmm. maybe, YouTube. Maybe Jibril is talking to me then. Okay. Yeah, probably. All right. Okay. So do you see it now? I see a Quran and science in depth, the deception of Allah. Hmm. Allah's Tashrushing. I don't even know how to say Les Secrets to Prophet the Arabe. Hmm. Those are the names of my books. Did you get any of them? Christian Prince books at Amazon. Hmm. Did you see any? Did That's you get... what I'm seeing right now. All right. Now, do you see it? No, I'm, I'm seeing Huri's Restrained. Hmm. I don't even know how to read that. Hmm. We will go back to this one. You just remind me. Okay, now, do you still see it or no? I am Kuru. I see. I see William Kuru, and you know a few books. My friend, refresh the page. Refresh. Refresh the video, and that's it. You are you are watching something old. Refresh. Okay, I see it now. Okay, aradna and and nattaqida lahwan, lattaqadnahu. Okay. Uh huh. Mm. Have we desire to find some diversion? Mm. Oh, now it says diversion. Mm. That which provides diversion in the way of a partner. Okay, so that's what no, you know, no, read. no, 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 read, read, don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, read, don't stop. A partner or what, or a child, we could have found it from with a ourselves. A child, we could have found it with okay. ourselves from, from? mom, beautiful eyed huris or angels. Hmm. Were we to do so, but we did not do so, hmm. thus we never desired it. All right, thank you. So, Allah is speaking here. You told yeah. me that Allah is going to have fun. Yeah. And no, that's word... not what God said. Hmm. This is that's your... an interpretation. Okay, why are your scholars saying that? Huh? Why are your scholars are being an idiot then? Is he stupid? He do not know what he's talking about? Well, I can't speak for him. Okay, you speak for who? Are you a scholar yourself? Well, I'm I'm hoping to speak for God. No, I'm asking you how you know I how you know mistakes. how you know that the scholar is wrong. 
because I'm I, I'm not saying he's wrong. Okay. I'm saying that's not what you, the verse is says. All the, all, is all the Muslim scholars are wrong and stupid? Or I'm not saying they're wrong. But this, I'm but saying this that's they, not but what, this is what the they verse teach. says. Okay. But they are saying, they agree that this is what the verse is saying. Allah is saying, if you want to have the word lahu in Arabic, is a word mean women. This is what lahu mean. Uh, fun that's what it says no this that's is what the, this the is the word no, yeah this is why because this is the arabic language the word lahu mean women so allah is saying if you want to no, take it a doesn't. woman it means play time okay hold on you play speak, pastime. okay no no here we go you speak arabic right i can if, okay, i can okay, open let's, it let's, i can let's, open let's it for you. With you okay let's agree with no you, okay? don't agree with me i challenge me i want you to no don't agree don't agree with me i want you i want no don't agree with me i want you to challenge me okay okay Be done with this because no, no, I don't no, agree no. with you. Is the word you don't want me to agree okay, so, with you. Okay, so is the word lahu mean a woman or not? No. Okay, read it with me in front of you. قال اللهو في بعض لغة أهل اليمن المرأة. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. I'm saying had we desired my, my to friend, find okay, no version. problem, no problem. Read. This is the interpretation. Different. This is a different scholar. They are saying here that in Arabic the word lahu is a word mean women so allah is saying in arabic if we want to take a woman for fun for fun we will take it from ourselves and this is your interpretation saying that the word lahu is a word mean women this is not me saying that okay like i said if let's just say hmm. that hmm. it is uh it does mean you know women hmm. okay so allah now so you agreed now finally you speak arabic which is good and i agreed that it says in the front of you on the screen that the word uh, lahu I, is I, a word I, i'm still don't i'm still not seeing no it. problem I'm still you, seeing will, you, you will, you will see you will see so as long you agreed you will see it anyway it's coming in your face i i highlight it for you and you in your you read little arabic so lahu is the word mean women and Allah is saying, if we want to take a woman for fun, we will take it from ourselves. What is ourself if Allah is one? You said to me that ourself means his majesty. This is what you said to me a second ago, two minutes ago. But here is saying he won't take a woman for yes. sex. So Allah wanna have sex with himself from ourselves? No, he's talking about having a woman. Allah is Allah is a woman? Is he transgender? Is he half male and half female? So when he say ourself, he's speaking about having sex with himself. Is he like the kind of the fish in the ocean which changes the gender from male to female? Okay. Do Allah have two gender in the same time, or he? Uh, or this is God gonna, does not have any gender. Well, here we go. If Allah does not have a gender, first, why? Why you always call him he? Secondly, why he is always here saying? And this is him talking. If we want to take a woman from ours, we will take a woman, we'll take it from ourselves. Why he said we'll take a woman, not a man? As long, he have, he is, as long he have no gender, he, he should he, say why he choose to have a woman, not a man, is if he has no gender. Why he said if we want to take a woman, we will take it from ourselves. As uh -huh. The pronoun used for him hmm. is he, my friend. So, so why he? he said, so what? He who who is the one? Who, who is the one who use he? It is he as he Allah saying that, or you choose to call him he? God says that. Okay, thank you. So Allah Himself, He called Himself He. Okay, and now He's saying, if you want to take a partner, a woman, why He choose to take a partner, a woman? If He choose, not a man, as long as He have no gender. Uh, I'm sorry, I spaced out. What did you say? Is okay. Listen, if I am if I am a person who have no gender, what is make a difference for me to take a partner which is a male or a female? I have no gender anyway. So why Allah He choose the women to be a partner? I'm sorry, I I hear it. I'm sorry. Why Allah He choose you hear it and you hear it very well. So why why Allah he said he if you want to take a woman why he did not say if I want to take a partner as a man why 
Allah said he would take a woman. Yeah, okay. Not a man. Why he chose a woman to be the partner, not the woman? Why here the word he used is for women? Because, mm. like I said, mm. the pronoun used for him is he. Ah, but he called himself he, so that means he have a gender. Okay. So now, because he said he, and then he says he chose women, so obviously he is a man. Now, if he said, you know, he, he would choose a man, you know, hmm. while okay, his listen, pronoun listen, listen, is listen, let us not waste our time. Obviously, you, you know, do not know. Say that he's, obviously, um, obviously uh, you do not know what to say. Okay, let us go back. So when he says we will take it from ourselves, how this woman can be from ourselves? If Allah is unique, how he call women from ourselves, what ourselves mean? You said to me before, ourself is a majestic. He called himself like a king, ourself. Okay. But here he said talking about taking a woman. So how the women can be from ourself? Is that a woman from his kind? Otherwise, well, why is like I said, like I said, you know, what that actually means. Uh, Mm. Doesn't actually mean women. Well, I showed you it says women in Arabic, my friend. It says that clearly in Arabic. That that that's not that's not uh, the only um, uh, meaning of lahwan. Hmm. Uh, somebody Al saying somebody saying just because Allah presents him uh, as a man should not assume that he has a gender. That is very silly of you to say, my friend, because here in the Quran. Allah is saying he want to take a woman as a partner if he would take from ourself. So there is no way unless he's lesbian. When Allah he chose a woman to be a partner. Why he chose a woman don't choose a man. So either you say he's a lesbian or he have to be a man. So if he is a man, this is why he chose a woman. If he is a woman, he choose a woman. That means he's lesbian. So which one you choose? So this is very funny argument. The one who said in that in the text, and as you see here, he says we found it with ourselves. How the women can be from ourselves? When I say ourselves, it means we are a group of people who they are the same kind. You see, a monkey can say about his monkeys from his group ourselves, but he cannot say the, the elephant ourselves. He's a monkey. So in order for Allah to say, if we want to take a woman as a partner, we will take it from ourselves. That's mean this woman is from his kind. You're thinking from the perspective that uh, the word lahu my friend, can only I am not saying my perspective. Women. This is your Islamic translation. This is your Islamic scholars in front of me. Allah called himself. Okay, why self. don't you open Al-Ma'ni? Who? Uh, the, the, the dictionary. Hmm. What about Al-Ma'ni? What about dictionary? And look at look up um, Lahun. Hmm. Okay. And what we would do with it if we open it? Okay, could you... My friend, my friend, why you are wasting my time? Did your scholar say is that the word lahu is the in the Arabic is the word mean women? Did he say that or not? Do, do you think a Jalalain he don't speak Arabic? Like I said, I don't speak Arabic, no but problem. I do I'm understand. saying to you, do you think a Jalalain is an idiot who don't speak good Arabic? Uh, yeah, he did. Okay, so what do you mean? Are you going to say to a Jalalain, hey, Jalalain, open the dictionary for me? Are you no, saying? Are I'm you saying, saying to me? That that's are you saying to me? Listen, listen. Are you saying to me open the dictionary, or you are saying that to Jalalain? Because the one who said that the word lahu is women is a Jalalain. So are you saying to me or to a Jalalain? To you, because uh -huh. Jalalain uses uses only okay, one let me, let me, definition. Let me, okay, let me, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. As long you accept a, a dictionary, do you accept dictionary or you don't accept dictionary? Make it clear for me. Uh, I do accept the dictionary. Okay. We will see in a second if you do. You're a prophet, he said. When a, a woman, she is divorced and she marry a new husband, she cannot marry a new husband, go back to the previous husband, sorry, unless she tastes his asila. She tastes his asila. What asila mean? What, what does it say that? Here we go in front of you. And this is the Muslim translation. They translate as taste his sweetness and she tastes his sweetness. What I see, what I see, I mean, 
I don't see it. Do you see it now? Right now, I'm seeing had we desired to find some diversion. Refresh the page. Can you refresh the YouTube? In a second, everybody ah, will see. In a second, the, everybody the will see. If you're really truthful okay. when you said, I accept dictionary or not. I see the messenger of Allah was asked about man. Okay. Hmm. Not until she has tasted, tasted the sweetness of intercourse. Hmm. What does that mean? What uh, in Arabic is it says as asila and you speak Arabic. Here we go. I'm saying the um the the, the English trans translation. What does that mean? What she tastes his juice and he tastes her juice. What does that mean? What 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 this uh, honey here? What is that? I don't see it. I see Aisha Qabla Ayn Muhammad. I see. Okay, now you're scrolling to the Yadupu until he uh, she tastes. Mm -hmm. Taste what? Musaylati. What? Musaylat. What the what the and uh, taste? You mm -hmm. taste mm -hmm. Musayla. Uh, what Musayla? What Musayla? Uh, what Musayla mean? Oh, huh? That's huh? what. Oh, that's what I, um what the translation says. No, no, I'm asking you what Ausaila mean. What your prophet is saying? Well, it, in, have... in short, it means uh, in short, it means sexual intercourse. Okay, so is not tasting his sperm, his orgasm? No, no, no. Okay, so now it means okay. once you have tasted, okay, you know, intercourse. I mean, once you, you know. How you, sexual intercourse okay with but are, are you the one who asked me to open al maani a second ago and you said al maani you accept okay okay do you accept al maani still or you, you you are going to bite your words now i accept al maani but you know what why are we talking about this okay read it because i want to show everybody that you don't accept anything you muslims you lie always here we go this is al maani this is the website in front of you and the word Asila is orgasm. Now you say I don't accept it. A second ago you said to me, "Open for me the dictionary." Aren't you Hang the on, one? I'm saying not only uh, not only uh, you I, said I don't, I can't not, see a not only right now. not only you said to me, "Open the dictionary." You named the dictionary. You mm -hmm. called Al Maani. So here we go. This is Al Maani. Here we go. I will show the title in the the the, the website Al Maani in the top. Here we go. And this is the dictionary, English Arabic. Al is I'm orgasm. seeing your books right now. My friend, stop I'm complaining about seeing it. You will see it. No problem. No problem. You will see it. I will wait for you. I will wait until tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So now, until you find it, what do you think about the word? Okay, I see. Okay. Why your prophet saying to the wife, she has to taste the orgasm of the man before she can go to the previous husband? What does that mean? That means hmm. it's... Um, it's another way of saying um, hmm. you have intercourse. That's what that, that's what I just said. But isn't it I said to you just two minutes ago? Is the word I see I mean orgasm? You said no. I said intercourse. No, I said to you, is the word Asila tasting the orgasm of the man, the sperm of the man? You said no. I said taste in. I thought you meant taste and don't tell me your thought. Your, you know what you thought. I said you know, to you mouth. clearly. I said to you clearly, is the word asila mean orgasm of the man? She have to taste it. You said no. Yes, I did say no because okay. I thought you were referring so what, to why your, you're a prophet you know, saying, mouth. Okay, so why you're a prophet don't using taste. the word orgasm? She have to taste his orgasm. How she can taste his orgasm, and how he can taste her orgasm. Tasting, like I said, tasting orgasm means mm -hmm. have sexual intercourse. But people, they can have sexual intercourse and still nobody tasting anything. 
That's what tasting means. No. Sexual intercourse means tasting. This is something you use your mouth with it. You don't you don't that's taste. another way to say it. What do you mean? What does that mean? What do you mean other way you say it? What do you mean other way to say that's it? That's another way to say you okay. know have sexual so you, intercourse. You, you see, you see, okay, the, the hypocrisy is amazing. So a second ago I said to you, is Asila orgasm? You said no. Did you say no? Now it's orgasm. Why you said no then? And now it's yes. Because you said you said taste his sperm. Okay. I said is the word asila, the orgasm that of the meant, man. I said I said is the word tongue. asila. I said is I, the word that's why I, said no. I said yes, is the word asila is the orgasm of the man, the sperm of the man. You said no. No, as doesn't mean you know the sperm of a man. Okay, listen, listen. It so says, why you're a prophet saying to the woman she wanna go back to her previous husband? Why she have why she to or to taste the orgasm of the man why she have to do that so she can go back to the previous husband what is i the don't know why i don't know why he told us to do that okay but you, now you are the, but i thought you are the expert okay let us go back to zero now so listen uh is allah a spirit or not a spirit yes is he a spirit no, no, he's not a spirit. He's he has command over the spirit. Okay, but this guy here in the in the video we were watching, he was saying that the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Christian. But the God of the Christians and the God of the Jews, and actually he said that the God of the Jews agree with the God of Islam. But you see, the God of the Jews and the God of the Christians is a spirit. So this guy here was lying to us, saying in the video that we share many things with the Muslims, but the fact the main thing about God is his nature. The God of Islam is not a spirit, never was a spirit, and he is not a spirit. So how we can have the same God? If we have different nature, okay. if we have different nature, and we have obviously different God. So this guy obviously, okay. you know, uh, is lying to us. And now I'm asking you, when you say to me that God is not a spirit, why the God of the Jews and the God of the Christians is a spirit when the God of Islam is not a spirit? What happened? Okay, hmm. let me respond. Huh. Uh, let me respond. Um when muslims say that you and i mm. have the same god it doesn't mean mm. that you worship the same god that we have mm. of course we have the same god you, you know my god and your god created you and i okay but so you don't worship okay, no god. But this guy you saying, worship no, jesus no, but this you guy worship in the, video. the father okay, okay. you worship the holy spirit thank you only muslims worship god okay so listen listen only muslim worship god no problem here, so you are saying that this guy is lying when he's saying that we Christians and Muslims we share the same God. Of course, we share the same God. I already told you that no, we share we the believe, same God. No, we have the see, same God. You see, my friend, my no, we God don't. is your God. No, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, make it. Let, let us make it clear. God. Let us make it more clear. We are very slow. So when you say to me we share the same God, you are talking about Allah, correct? We're talking about God and God okay. in, in Arabic. The God of who? Allah, the yes. God of the Kaaba. Is that correct? The God of the Kaaba. Let's make it more clear. The God of the Kaaba. Okay. The God of no Mecca. Problem. So the God we of the world, okay. the God of but, the universe, but, the God of everything. Let me ask you, do we Christians believe in the same God of the God of the Kaaba? Yes or no? No, you okay. don't believe you don't believe in the same God as we do. Thank you. So finally, finally, God. we got the, the fox from his tail. So now this guy is lying because in the video saying that the Christians and the Muslims, they worship the same God, but we don't. We don't worship the same God. You worship different God. We worship no, different no, no. God. Now, nope. let me ask you. Your you God, your the God, same God. Okay, you your God at all. Listen, listen. Your God is a spirit, correct? But he is a physical being. How that can be? My God is not a spirit and he's not a physical being. Okay, so how? He's uh, the being. Okay, so how Allah, he says that he have two hands. Yeah, so he has two hands. Okay. okay? Those are those Does two that hands. mean physical hands? So they are not physical? Well, are they? I don't know. You tell me. Are they? I I I can't tell you anything. What do you mean? You are the Muslim. You are the Muslim. That because, you, are, you know, you are God the, only you, says you are... that he has two hands. Okay, mm. fine. He has two hands. Oh. Does it mean that he has spirit hands? My Does it mean that he has I'm, physical I'm, I'm, hands? I'm asking you, know? you. I'm asking you. When Allah, he is going to uh, show his shin. You speak Arabic. Here we go. It says, يَوْمَ يَكْشِفُ رَبُّنَا عَنْ سَاقِهِ that, that I only understand Arabic. يَكْشِفُ رَبُّنَا عَنْ سَاقِهِ Allah will show his shin. What kind of shin is that? 
I don't see it. No, I, 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 no problem. You, I said that to you in Arabic. Until you see it, no problem. Allah will show his shin. What shin we are talking about? Well, if it says his shin, then his shin. Okay, but we don't. Okay. We don't know if it's, so. Do Allah have a shin? They're not physical okay. or so, spirit. Okay, hold they're on, hold shin. on. So, his guys, Allah. Al okay, Allah have a spiritual shin or it's a physical shin. You said Allah have no spirit. Yeah, hmm. God has. God is not a spirit, and God is not physical. Okay, so Allah is, is going to show His shin. Is His shin is physical or not? I don't know. Hmm. I can't say because you know it doesn't say it's if it's physical or spirit. Okay. Listen. It just says Listen. that it has hands. That, that that he that he has hands. So right. That's no. That's problem. what I'm repeating. All right, Mister Repeating. Allah He says that He yeah. have a shape. Is His shape physical or it is not? Um, no. Hmm. Well, it says here Allah have a shape. How how it's a shape, but it's not physical. I, have Have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? You are saying he have a shape, but this shape is not physical. So what does that mean? The second you say shape, it's physical. You know what shape means? The second I say shape, it's, it's physical. physical. Yes, otherwise the word shape is wrong. Because shape is a physical dimension. This is what shape means. Does it? Yes, it is. Shape is a physical dimension. If there's nothing, there's not. It doesn't have shape. Anything like in order to have a shape, you have to be physically exist. Otherwise, you don't have dimension, and then you don't have shape. Here it says, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know, and He will say, "I am your Lord." They will say, "We seek refuge from Allah by from you," which means they don't they don't like His shape. We will not follow you. And then Allah will come to us in a shape which he, you know, we can, we can recognize. Here we go. Then Allah will come to them in a shape they knew. And he will say, I am your Lord. And then they accept him. So the first time Allah, he come by a shape. Second time Allah come with a shape. And obviously the two shapes are different. One shape they knew, one shape they don't know. I would I would disagree with um, your definition that shape is physical. Okay, how do you recognize Allah from the shape? Do you see the word shape here? What does that mean? He came to them in a I shape. Do, I do see it. Okay, you can stop saying I don't see it. Refresh the page. How I Allah... do see it. I said. Okay, so I it's... said I I see Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know, and they will. Right. And we'll say I am okay. Lord. So they refuse him first time for what reason? Because he come to them in a shape other than the one they know. So what is that? What happened? Explain to us. Go ahead. Um, he saw that. Um, he saw God. Hmm. They saw God, hmm. but they don't recognize. They saw him that. in which one? Which which in which case? How in a shape? Right in a shape. In a shape. Yes. Okay. So what does that mean? I don't know. You. All right. You, you don't speak English. I don't know what it what it means. Okay, by what the word shape? shape what the word know. what the word shape mean in the dictionary, Mister Mister Dictionary? When we say the word shape, what shape mean? General <clears throat> character of something. General character. I. I'm, yep. Outline something not clearly seen. Geometric form. Hmm. General character of something. Original form. Health. Hmm. Something's what, condition. What does that mean? Mold for something. Ghost. What, what does that mean? <clears throat> what is what mean? Let us open what does what, mean? what does that mean? All what you told me now. Okay. Allah will come to them in a shape. Shape of what? I, I, I have to tell you that I don't know uh -huh. what shape, you know, God will come to them. What does that mean? I, I don't understand you. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know really what do you mean. It says here, this is the definition, and the, uh, English is not my first language. It says the external form or appearance 
correct? Of someone, external. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, so it says formation, configuration, appearance, form, figure. This is what shape mean. I see distance, direction, shape. Mm. So Allah, he changed his figure. Allah, he have an external form appearance. I don't see what you're saying right now on the screen. I'm just reading the, the dictionary. Here we go. As long as you like, as long 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 as and whatever dictionary say, the dictionary says, external form or okay, appearance, yeah. a characteristic of someone or something, right. the out, the outline, shape is like yeah. speaking about yeah. circle, yeah. square, yeah. or big. you know, I mean, uh, like a ball or etc. Physical. This is physical shape. Yeah, a form. Hmm. So a form. Okay. A geometric figure such as a square, triangle, or rectangle, hmm. and that's what I see. Okay, so what Allah He came to them as a square, like like a dish. Well, like I said, it says that He will come to them hmm. in a shape. Okay, what, I don't know what that shape means. Uh, but so shape is not anything except something physical, a form, or or you know hmm. it it can't it. How many? How many shapes? Based on this hadith, he will appear. How he many? will appear as you know someone physical. Ah, he will appear as someone. This is a good thing. Here we go. We have an improvement. Okay, so Allah. That's mean Allah. He can take a form of a, of something physical, correct? Yes. He All, can. Right. All right. If so, you want so you must now believe in incarnation. What? You must then believe in incarnation of God. Uh, what does incarnation mean? I mean, he can mm. take a shape of a physical being. Of course, he can do whatever he wants. No, no, this is not the question. You believe now in incarnation. So Allah, it's possible maybe he come as a man if you want, right? I believe that he can, you know, assume any form that he wants. Hmm. Is that Islamic statement or this is your statement? That's that's what it says. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Okay, so now we understand finally me and you that Allah will come to them in a shape. It's possible that this is a shape of a, a man or any physical being. Finally, me and you we agree about one thing. So you believe yeah, that you can't okay, assume. So you must them now, you, you must them now you have a problem you because you just agreed that God can have incarnation of a body, he can go inside the body of anything. Because you are taking, uh, you can take a shape. You can assume forms. Yes, that's what I mean. That's what incarnation means. Okay. Well, sure. If Allah is, if Allah came to 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 you as a man, is that man is dead or alive? Uh, what? If Allah He came in a shape of a man, is that man is dead or alive? Is that man dead or alive? Yeah. I don't know. What do you I mean? can't uh, say. So, so Allah is inside a dead man or is inside a living man? He came in the form yeah. of a man. So in this moment, Allah himself is the man, correct? Yeah. Okay. So is that man is a living man or his dead man? If, if that man is God, then living. Okay, so how he can be living? Is is he living because he have a spirit or because he is just a body? Uh, what? He have a body now. Okay, is he alive because the body is alive by itself without a spirit or there's a spirit inside the body? He is alive because he's God. Okay, but he have no spirit. He he command he has command over spirits. Yes. Okay. But the well, body, I don't know what, what you mean by okay, he doesn't okay, have spirit. But is a spirit is the power of life or it is something else? Uh, the spirit uh -huh. is what he created. So, so Allah, he created the spirit? Yeah. Okay. So Allah, he created the spirit. Do Allah, when he created the man, he created himself? Yes, Allah, when he created a man... Did he create himself? Because you are the one who said, "Allah, He come to you." Yeah, he created him. He created it or him himself. 
Okay, so Allah He created Himself because now He is the man. He did not create Himself. So okay, who is the one who created he the man? Okay, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. You said to me, I said to you, is Allah now that man when He come in the shape of a man? Is He that man? He said yes. Okay, so now Allah is the man. Who is the one who created that man? The man is not created if he assumed the what, form what do you of mean a man. Assume? What do you mean assume? How that happened? How how this man came he, to existence? What happened? He turned himself into you know, a Thank form you. So of guys, a man. So guys, Allah is a transformer. Everybody be my witness. Allah is a transformer, the same as in the movie. So Allah is Allah, but now he transformed himself into a man. Okay. The transformation is a creation. I of said who? he can. I said he can. He. Did not. I don't know if he did. No or problem. Did not. No problem. No I'm problem. I'm just saying he can. Allah, he transformed himself. Did he transform the nature of to, to a nature of a man? Obviously, yes. So now Allah transformed he, the what? When Allah, he transformed himself into a man. That's mean he have the nature of a man. Uh no. What do you mean? No, he is a man. Now. He has the form, the shape of a man. Okay, so is he a fake? Is he, that. Are you saying he is a fake man? He is not real. What is he a fake man, or he is a real man? A dead man. Is he a fake or real man? Is he a fake or a real man? Mm. A fake man, of course. Allah is a fake man. That's a good thing. Uh, so Allah, the fake God, he make himself a fake man. That makes sense. Why he's a fake man if he is a no, real, if he is no, a real God? He, why now this no. man is so okay? So are if you saying okay, all right? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Allah, he is now a fake man. Everybody heard you. You said that, not me. No, I didn't say that. You I said, said that. that the man God turned if he did, hmm. God turned himself into is not a real man, he's a fake man. Yeah, that man okay. is a fake man. Thank you. But, that, God man, is but, not. but that man is Allah. <laughs> that fake man is not God. But you are the one who said to me, he transformed himself into a man. So that man is a fake man and he's Allah. He himself is Allah. Uh, hmm. Here's what I understand. Hmm. Okay, God turned himself self into a man assumed the form assumed the shape so mm. it's just a shape mm. okay is that shape is fake or this is not is that allah or not allah turned himself into a, the shape of a man okay let me let me okay let's make it simple so allah he made himself a shape of a man okay at that moment is that man is uh -huh. allah or not mm, logically yes that man would be God. Okay. What happened to the real Allah now? Huh? Because now we have a man and we have Allah. Is that man is the same as Allah at this moment? Yeah. God is looking like a man. Okay. okay. So I see it now. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So Allah can be a man. And he is Allah the same can, as yes, God can turn in himself into a man. I don't have a problem with that. All right. So Allah, when he turned himself into a man. What happened to the mm -hmm. original shape of Allah? The shape of Allah. Hmm. What happened to it? What happened to it? Yeah, because there's two shapes. Remember, which means two of them, they are physical. We have first shape and second shape. The original shape is different from the shape of the man. So now when mm -hmm. Allah, he became a man. What happened to the original shape? The original shape hmm. is gone. Is gone? Where is God? Allah destroy it? Yeah, because he No, because he turned himself into a man, remember? So you are saying to me Allah is a changeable. So, was... so Allah he changed. Nothing left nothing left of the old Allah. What we have now is a man. This is what you are saying. The old Allah is gone. Yeah. Now we have we only have man. God looking like a man. Okay. So now the old Allah is gone. The only thing left is the man, correct? Uh the only left is the, sh uh, the shape God who looks uh, who 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 has the shape of a man. Yes. Okay. So the old shape of Allah. The old God is not gone. <laughs> okay. Listen. 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 Yeah. Allah now he became a man, and there's no other God except this man. Do you agree? I would agree. Yes. Okay. So Allah, when he is a man, 
is he a perfect man mm -hmm. or he is not a perfect man that would be a perfect man do you have a penis well you know, uh, he he wouldn't be a, a man he would be god looking like a man okay in do, a shape, do we have a, a do we have a penis do we have what penis if he looked if he turned himself into a man hmm. if he assumed the shape of a man hmm. then yes okay why he have a penis what he would do with it huh what he would do with it i don't know do he piss I don't know okay when Allah he turned himself into a man and he came to the Muslims why the Muslims reject this man he, uh, if God turned himself into a man uh, it doesn't say actually um, turned himself into a man he hmm. it says it will come to them in a shape right so God uh, turned himself into something into a shape of a man to okay. the shape of a man all right and that man is rejected by the Muslims correct that what this man rejected which Allah rejected by the Muslims the Muslim they said to him we seek refuge by Allah from remember it's, it, remember this man is not really a man it's just and it's just the shape of a man no problem but he's Allah still right he's Allah at the end of the day it yeah it's okay it's, it's so, God you right. know so Allah now is became a man. Is okay. in the shape of a man all right it's so, not really a man no problem no Okay, but you are saying to me he's a real man. I ask you, is he a fake man or a real man? You said a real man. Yeah, I, I'm trying to understand this as we go along. Okay, so a real man, he came to the Muslims and he said to them, I am Allah. The Muslim, they said to him, we seek refuge by, uh, for, uh, with Allah from you. Why Why did it that? Why did they refuse him to be God? Is that because of his look? Uh, 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 could, you, could, you, could you repeat that? Allah, he changed his shape, as you said, uh, as, as a form of a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. And then he came to the Muslims mm -hmm. and they said to them, I am your Lord. And then the Muslim, they said to okay. him, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Why did it that? Why did they reject him to uh -huh. be God? If he is the same God, is the God of Muhammad, what happened? Why they Because he doesn't recognize him. Ah, they so you Muslims, recognize. okay. So let us learn something very important in, in here. That the Muslim, they know God only by his form, not by his equality. Only by his form, yeah, and not what? Not by his equality. By his quality, not by quality. his quality. Yeah, the quality of Allah changed for the Muslims. He 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 downgrade himself to a man. So you Muslims don't accept that. You you throw uh, eggs at him, potato, potato. Says get away. We seek refuge with Allah from you, which means you consider him shaitan. Mm hmm. So why you Muslim consider Allah shaitan just because he changed his form? What is the believers? How because can he doesn't how, recognize? Okay, they don't why, recognize. why somebody is a believer? He cannot be, cannot cannot recognize Allah when this is the same Allah which they worship. What kind of a belief and what kind of a believer they could not recognize their God just because he changed his form? Do you recognize Allah by your eyes or by your heart? How you recognize Allah? You Muslim, you say to us when I read Quran, I cry. How come Allah Himself is coming to you? This is Allah Himself. This is not the guy who collects the garbage. This is not the guy who makes salad for you in the buffet. This is God Himself supposed to come to you. How come you could not recognize Him if He is the most holy, the amazing, the most beautiful, the glorious? So what if He became a man still? He will be amazing. So why you refuse Him? Because mm -hmm. you know, the hadith says that uh, the hadith um, suggests that they mm -hmm. recognize, you know, God's form. But so mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. God, you know, came to them mm -hmm. in a form that they didn't recognize, I get that. I get that. I you get know, that. they but, don't. But okay, when Allah He changed His form, did He lose His glory? When Allah He changed His form, what? When Allah He changed His form, did He lose His glory? He is not a glorious no more. Did He of lose His not. glory? Okay, so no. as long Allah changed His form, still He have a glory. So how the Muslim could not recognize His glory? <laughs> how do you how do you recognize glory? What what does that even mean? Well, God He have a glory. Nobody will have like glory like Him. Still He will be different. There is no yeah, way, even if he's a man, he will be totally different. So, like, okay, if God, or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Can your God Allah when he was a man do what Jesus did? Of course God can do okay, what so he why the Muslim cannot recognize him as Allah Allah is the creator He can create for them and show them that I'm Allah Allah is the one who can tell you what you had in your houses. He can do that when he's a man Allah he can heal diseases Allah he can heal the leper he can make the blind see so now Allah became a man But obviously he is disabled. He can do nothing as you see. He just became a man. He is useless This is why they rejected him uh, Could you repeat that what's wrong with you each time I say to you uh, I say repeat Allah he came to them as a man and now the Muslims, okay. they don't recognize him as God Okay, what is the problem? Uh -huh. You said that because he changed his form, correct? Yes. Okay. So changed his form from uh, the one that they recognized. Okay. How you recognize Allah? Uh, well, apparently from the hadith, it, it suggests that um, they have seen God before. No, no. Or or they okay, they, how, they know how what you God looks like. Okay. Okay. You said they saw God before. Is that correct or this is false? I'm saying that's uh, that's what the hadith suggests. I'm or I'm saying, did you Muslims see God before? Me, uh, Muslims now, no. No. Okay. So, or then, so then, how you would recognize him? Okay. Born. Here we go. Listen. This is the hadith no, no. in front of you, and this is Sahih Bukhari. They they asked the Prophet how we recognize him. He said from his shin. So Allah then will uncover his shin. Uh huh. Okay, so your God Allah is a shin. This is the original shape. The the shin. No, that's that's not. Here we go. What it says. Well, the hadith in front of you. How we will recognize uh, Allah? No, Allah will come no, to them not. in a shape. This is the same story, my friend. Allah come to them in a shape other than the one they knew or they saw first time, but they did not recognize him. And we are talking about this for the last half hour. And then they asked the prophet, "How we will recognize him? How do you know the sign? Any?" Which you can recognize him, they will say the shin, and then Allah will uncover his shin. Do you see it? And then you uh -huh. go down, you okay. go, and then you go down to the shin of Allah. So hmm. I, I don't see the um uh, the, the the hadith in front of me right now, but from what you said, hmm. that means that the shin of God hmm. is. Can you say um, it again? Can you say it again? This, can you say it again? The shin of what? The shin what? The shin of God. Okay, I did not hear it. Can you say it again? The shin of. Did you hear that? Of what? God. Did you hear that? This is amazing. The Muslim they believe that God have a shin, the shin of God. Guys, he uh -huh. said it to me three times. The shin of God. The yes. shin of God, the shin mm -hmm. of God. Okay, you told me in the beginning that Allah is not a physical being, and now you are confirming to me that Allah have a shin, and He is. The, this is the shin of God. So this is why we Christian uh, we say. Yes, I know. This I is know. Why, I you see, this is why we I, Christian. I, we, we Christian. We say Hallelujah. Do you Muslim say Shinnuya? No, we don't. Why you don't say we that? See. Because now your God is a shin. No, my okay. God is not a shin. Okay, did you see your prophet saying Allah will uncover his shin? Do uh, do your God have anything additional to his shin? Allah now he have a shin. Does my God? What? Okay, Allah, do he have additional thing to his shin attached to his shin? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, okay, that means he's a shin. If you don't have an ass, if you don't have shoulders, if you don't have a head, that's mean he is just a shin. Um. No, it doesn't mean that it says his shin. So okay. he has a shin. No problem. His shin because this, shin. okay, because this shin is his, his no shin. problem. This is his shin. So I'm asking you now if there's other parts mm -hmm. beside the shin of Allah is there or only shin. Um, I don't know. Why you don't know? Uh because it's not revealed. Yes, so the how, shin is revealed. Okay, so okay, uh, all the, right. The shin but is revealed. Have any okay, other hold on, hold parts? on. Did you say the shin is revealed? I don't revealed? know because okay. it's not revealed. Okay, why Allah has a shin? What he would do with his shin? What does the word shin mean? Teach me English. <clears throat> does God tell us why he no, has I'm a shin? You, no, no, no. So that's, that's, I don't know. I my, cannot speak. My problem, my, my, know, my friend, my friend, that my friend. I don't know. My friend, this is not the question. I'm asking you, what the word shin mean? 
What do you mean? What the word shin? You what? don't know what shin is. So, I don't know what shin means. Tell me, English is not my first language. So shin, what shin mean? When we say shin, what what okay, does that mean? Okay, so shin. Yeah, what does that mean? It doesn't matter what it means. It doesn't matter what it no, means. No, it's me. It's, it's, it's matter hand. because he called himself. He called himself a shin. So we need to know what shin Allah is. is no, saying. he doesn't call himself the shin. Okay. Well, he is a shin. No, he doesn't say he is a shin. Mm. So it says shin. here. Shin. Stop lying. Shin, shin. is the front of the leg below the knee okay okay so if allah have a shin do we have That's a leg what our shin is okay no 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 what allah he says a shin he is using a language we understand right yes okay so shin is he a does. shin that's it this is our language so when he say he has his he have a shin all right but so it doesn't mean this like i god says mm. in a mm. uh, and not there is you know Anything that's you know the same as him. No problem. So, so we understand. We, says, okay, we shin, so it we doesn't mean the shin like ours. No problem. Uh, the shin of Allah is not like I was like I was debating Imam the, the the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, Dr. Nabil Baikli, and the Imam of the mosque there. His name is uh, Imam Malik Sar. You can watch the debate in uh, in uh, in YouTube. And they said to me, "Well, do you think the shin of Allah is like yours? Who cares? It's a shin." So. Allah shin guys is not like any of us. It's very beautiful, very sexy. You know, he's sexy and you know it. Okay. So Allah, I am sexy and I and you know what? And nobody's sexy like me, but that would not change that anything that Allah has a shin. So Allah has a shin to do what with it? Yeah, he has a shin, but we don't know what 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 that is, you know, how it looks like. What do you mean? Like maybe like an ant shin. Who cares? Maybe it's not a human shin, maybe it's an ant shin. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. So Allah, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe so maybe Allah is an ant, but he's a unique kind of ant. Yeah, maybe, maybe, you know. Okay. So now, when Allah He says you will recognize Him by His shin, how you will recognize that shin? You tell me. Descri describe the shin for me, which you will recognize. Well, obviously, from uh, the hadith, um, hmm. God apparently has a very distinctive. My friend, no problem. Shin. Allah He came to them in a shape they don't know. They, they, they refuse Him. This is number one. Then Allah, he come to them mm -hmm. in other shape. And then he showed them his shin. Okay. But how we will know that this is the shin of Allah? What if the devil, he show his shin? How you will know? The devil shin is different from my shin too. But what if a woman, she is uh, very, well, what if a woman, we, she we is. Just will, we just will recognize it. You know, my, my friend, what if a woman, she you know, is. You know, the, the phrase, if you see him, okay, you'll recognize him. Is, know, the shin, is, the, that, is the shin of Allah, exactly. is, is the shin of Allah is a beautiful? Huh? Is the shin of Allah is a beautiful? Is the shin of God beautiful? No, That's the shin of Allah, said? not the shin of God. Because all your God is like, we are talking about him now. So is the no, shin, God is, 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 God. is the shin is the shin of Allah? Is, is the it, shin of God? Is it beautiful? Beautiful. Mm. Does it say beautiful? I'm I don't asking know. you. I'm I asking you. I'm asking you. Is the shin of Allah, my friend? If it does say beautiful, then I say yes. My friend, I'm asking you. You tell me. I'm but it doesn't say that. I'm learning. I'm learning from you about Islam. Okay. So Allah. Okay. Good. Okay. Allah shin. Is it ugly or beautiful? If you look at the hadith, it doesn't say beautiful. It doesn't say ugly. I am not speaking, you know, outside the hadith. Hmm. So, so how you recognize him? So I don't. If we do not know, if we do not know the shin of Allah, if it's like women shin, it's a sexy shin, it's an ugly shin. How you will recognize Allah shin? Then this is what I'm trying to understand from you. I'm asking you, okay, the shin of Allah. You know the phrase, if you see him, you'll recognize him, Correct. you'll know him. How you, okay, he said, he said what? How you recognize him? He here. said he will uncover his shin. Okay, but how you recognize that this is the shin of Allah if you do not know how the shin of Allah look like? Like I said, like I said before, you know the phrase, if you see him, you'll recognize him, you'll know him. No. That's the phrase no. that applies no. here. No. If we see no. the doesn't, shin doesn't of God, say, we no. will recognize no, no, that no. shin of God. No, 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 no. It doesn't say that. It says that Allah, he came to them in a form. They did not recognize him. Then Allah will come to them in the uh -huh. real form, and then he will show his shin. Okay? So now I'm uh -huh. asking you, okay, Allah, he come to you. Uh, the, first, the first man he came to you is Allah, and you agreed. Okay, that man have a shin. Why the Muslim did not like the shin of the first Allah, but they like the shin of the second Allah? What's the difference between them? 
Well, obviously they're 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 different. What is different? The the, the first shin is ugly. Obviously, the... they don't recognize that shin. Okay, I'm asking you: Is the shin of Allah is ugly? The first one and the second one was good. I like I said, uh -huh. I already answered you. I don't know. I cannot speak outside the 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 the, the, the hadith. Okay, but how you recognize the shin of Allah? Because he said he he, he came we to you. We just will. We just will. How, how you will? He will go. He, Allah. He came to you first time. You did not recognize him. Like I said, the phrase "if you see him, you'll recognize him" applies in this hadith. No, 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 no. It doesn't say that, my friend. Let us go back to the hadith. Don't play games with me. You cannot play games with Christian Prince. It says clearly that Allah. He Stop will come to them. Games. No, no. Okay, Allah. He says. I, uh, I am your Lord and then they will say you are not our Lord for the first shape Okay, and none will speak to him even they refuse to talk to him and then they will say and then he will say uh, He will come to them in a shape other than the one which they knew which one they knew is the shape which Allah He will cover his shin. Okay, so Allah shape in both Use the same word shape The same story did not give you any differentiation the first one, okay. he have a shin. The second one, he have a shin. So how you do you recognize the shin, the first shin from the second shin? Which one is the shin of Allah? The hadith says that they will. We will. Okay, that, my it friend. doesn't matter how we will you no. know, recognize it. Hold we, on. we just will. How you will? How we will? Yeah, because, how will because, we uh, because, recognize because, the shin? Because it says. We because, just will. No, because it says Allah will come to them in his original shape. The shape which they knew. What is the shape you knew, Muslims? Then the Allah, shape that they know? Yeah, what is the shape which you know? I cannot speak outside the Bible. That's I mean, the, the hadith. That's when Muhammad is lying because you do not know the shape of Allah. I keep asking you since two hours until now. What is the shape of Allah you do not know? Of course, because it doesn't say. No, it says that. It says that. That Allah will come to them in a shop. Actually, not only the, 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 uh, the, it says here, this is the Muslim translation. Then Allah will come to them mm -hmm. in a shape they know. Yeah. Okay. What mm -hmm. is the shape you know? What? What is the shape you know about Allah? I don't know because it doesn't so, say so in Muhammad the Hadith, is lying. Don't Okay. Don't ask me so about things okay, but that's, that are but, not but in that's, the Hadith okay, my friend. or the Quran. All right, because but that's mean, that's I mean. don't want to make up things like you do. I'm not making up. I'm, I'm asking you what is written there. It says the shape they know. Okay, what the yeah, shape you must know? Me so, let that me, are outside the okay, Hadith. No, and the I'm Quran. not asking you things out of the Hadith. It, the Hadith says that you Muslim, you know the shape of Allah. This is not out of the Hadith. What is the shape of Allah? You do not know. So Muhammad lie. I don't know. I don't. Okay, if there's any other Muslim he knew the shape of Allah or only you are the only one who do not know We will we will know we will okay. come to know but but Muhammad he says the one they know in the past they know already Yeah, they know okay, but, but so what is the shape you know? know so this is something he said 1400 years ago Okay, 1400 mm -hmm. years ago the Muslim they know the shape of Allah. I'm asking you after 1400 years Shouldn't you know there, right now? He's what is talking the shape? about the hereafter my friend, no problem. But he said not the shape now. they we know. know him okay, how do you know the know shape the of Allah? Of God right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, I, I'm going to change the topic just to help you. I, okay. I want you. I want you to prove to me that Allah is God. What? Can you give me any any reason to believe that Allah is God? Allah well, the shape. First of all, yeah. Allah means God, so we have to believe that God is God. No, Allah does not mean God. It's a name, and and you. Yes, it does mean God. No, it, it, no, it, 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 it's a name of the God. Upper case is G. God. Okay, Allah okay, okay. God, hold on, hold on. Oh, now, how Allah can be God? What make Him God for you? Because Allah means God. What the heck is wrong with you? So if I call myself God, that's mean I am God. You, if you call yourself God, hmm. but you're not God, so hmm. you're not God. Okay, what is the proof you, you can have? Call yourself God. All right. You can call Jesus God. All right. You so how you know? How you know I am? God, okay. So God, how you God know? God. Hey, listen. How you know I am not God, but Allah is God? How you are able to recognize? How do I know that you're not God, but God is God? Yeah. Hello, are you listening to yourself? I am I'm listening to myself for sure. How you know I yeah. am not God so how, and Allah is God? Why would you ask me how I know if God is God? Okay, I will tell you a miracle which nobody can do except me, and Allah cannot do that. Next month, there's a lot of women they will have their period. How I know that? What? Next month, a Next lot of month. women they will have their period. How I know that? You tell me. Explain to me. 
next month what a woman a lot of women they will have their millions of women they will have their period how I know that okay how I know that I don't know I don't know how you know that ah, you do not know okay you tell me can you tell me something Allah he told nobody knows which proved that he is God like as I just told you now uh, what can you tell me something no one knows like the one I just told you except me like I told you that women they will have their period next month and there's nobody knows in this earth like me now I'm asking you can Allah give us anything which prove that something nobody knows except him to prove that he's God to prove that is God yeah so you want me to find a verse mm -hmm. where God tells you something mm -hmm. that you do not know except God yeah does the Quran have anything like that? <laughs> Does the Quran have anything like that? Hmm. <sighs> okay, fine, good. Hmm. Mm, you do not know that hmm. Jesus is just a prophet, not a God, not God. Hmm, that's a good hmm. point. Okay, but uh, hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh, Got it. Okay, but what is the proof of that? Huh? What is the proof of that? What is the proof of what? You just told me that Allah He knew that we do not know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but is the proof that what He know is true? Where is Jesus? Uh, right now? Where because is, Jesus where is, where doesn't is, mean okay, God, well, but where, Allah where, does. Where, where is Jesus right now, according to you, Muslims? Huh? Jesus right now doesn't matter where Jesus yeah, I know, is I want to know where he is I, I, I want to know my friend I'd like to know I will send him a letter so where is Jesus right now I want his address where he live according to Islam uh, I don't know either uh, you're so, lying are you lying isn't you Muslim because, believe that no. he is, is he, don't you Muslim believe because that he's it in doesn't heaven? matter don't where you, Jesus don't you, is don't you Muslim heaven, why do you want to say are you ashamed are you, under, are you, you know are you ashamed matter. are you ashamed to say that according to Islam Jesus in heaven is he in heaven or not Is he in heaven? Does like I said, I just, it doesn't matter. I don't want to start a new topic right now. We are not We're talking. talking we are about have a conversation. We have a com we have a comedy time. Listen, Allah. where is Jesus right now? I'm asking you. Where is Jesus? You are the one who mentioned to me Jesus. Not what a new topic. You are the one who said to me you do not know that Jesus is not God. Uh, I said okay. Jesus so, is not God. Okay. That's if Jesus all. I'm is not, not if Jesus is still. not God, why he is right now with your God in heaven? What he's doing there? If Jesus is not God, yeah, why he's now? In why the heaven? is he God? Uh, why is he in heaven? With with Allah right now, as we speak, supposedly according to Muslims. Uh, does being in heaven with God hmm. mean that he's God? Well, isn't it, isn't it this every man he have to wait until resurrection day to go to heaven? Is your prophet in heaven right now, or he's dead? He's dead. Is Moses in heaven? No, yeah, he's, he's dead. dead but okay. He's, yeah. He, okay. So why Jesus yeah, is the only yeah, one? Okay. He is in heaven. So why Jesus is the only one is not dead and he is in heaven? Why not? Why? Why? The, everybody. The Quran keeps saying all prophets mm -hmm. before they pass away. All prophet. So no, it doesn't say all prophets. It says that. It says it doesn't that. say all prophets, and yes. we're not talking about God right yes, now. Yes. Here we go. The Quran says in many places, Khalat min qabluhi rusul. Khalat. Do you know what Khalat mean? I, I I can't see it in in the screen. Hmm. Chapter two, verse one thirty four. Chapter two, verse one forty one. Chapter three, verse one thirty seven. Chapter three, one forty four. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, here we go. Chapter five, three, verse seventy five. Chapter five, verse number seventy five. Okay. Mm. All right. Did the messengers before Jesus all of them they pass away, or not all of them? Uh, I'm looking at Surah two one thirty four. It doesn't say anything about Jesus. Mm. No, I'm I'm reading for you now, chapter five, verse number seventy five. Oh, chapter five, seventy five. Yeah, seventy five. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Did all the prophets before Jesus pass away? Ma, ma, or not all of them pass away? Illa Rasul. 
قد خلت من قبله الرسول. What خلت mean? We can go to dictionary if you like. What خلت means passed away. Okay. All of them they pass away. The all the messengers. Does it say all of them? Yes, it says. Does it say all of them? Yes, قد خلت من قبله الرسول. All the messengers they pass away. It's read it in Arabic. Does it say all? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says all. Yes, it says all. It says all. Passed away. Yes, from before you. From before him. Okay. The prophet. Okay. So he is saying that the messengers before him pass away. Correct. You are saying not all. Okay. According to Islam, did all the messengers before Jesus die or no? What? What? Did all the messengers before Jesus pass away? Yes or no? Did all the messengers before Jesus pass away? Passed away. Yes. Yes or no? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? According to Islam, there is only one person who did not pass away. Is Jesus? What do you mean? No, it doesn't say that all okay, of them. Okay, so I don't, okay, I don't, I, like I said, I don't okay, want to speak okay, outside no, no the problem. Quran or the Hadith. All right, name for hadith me. Or the all right, Quran all right. Listen, all listen, I don't, you see, I'm so, being patient with you I'm not because I'm, say I'm, that. I'm having fun here. I'm asking you, can you name for me a messenger he did not pass away except Jesus in Islam? I cannot. Okay, so it's only, that means it's only Jesus. That's it. Only Jesus, he did not pass away. Can you tell me why he did not pass away and he's not God? Oh, everybody died. Well, maybe there, maybe there were other, you know, messengers that did not die. But you could not name form one for me. There's no one in Islam. I never heard of. I one. cannot. Okay. I cannot. Okay. So, it doesn't so, say. Okay. So, it doesn't say that all of them no, died. No, it says. Either. It says. No, it says. قد خلت من قبله الرسول. All the messengers before him pass away. My friend, it says that. It, it, it yeah. doesn't say. Yeah. It and by the way, this is a this is a mistake in the Quran. This is a mistake in the Quran because. The other verse is saying the same that Muhammad is a messenger and the messengers before him they die. But Muhammad he forgot that he said that Jesus did not die. Is in chapter three, verse number one forty-four. It says that the messengers before him they pass away or killed. Yes, messengers, but doesn't okay. say all of them. No, you see, in the Muslim translation, they say many messengers. What many messengers? It doesn't say that. It says, indeed, messengers have passed away before him. Okay. So, yes, messengers have right. passed okay. away before him. It says him. in Arabic, min qablihi rusul the messengers, not only yes. messengers, the messengers, correct? The, 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 the messengers. Correct. Yes, so the it correct, so, okay, so the correct translation, okay, thank you for helping me. So the correct translation, the messengers before him, they pass away. When you say the messengers before yeah, him mess pass away, the messengers before him passed away. Right. Uh huh. So when we say the messengers Does before him pass away, okay. The second you say the messengers, that's mean all the messengers. That's it. You said the messengers, and you agreed. In Arabic, it says the messengers. No, it doesn't say. No, 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 no. It doesn't say that. What do you mean? Does it say uh, the messengers? Does it say in Arabic the messengers? It does, if it if it did say you know all the messengers, it would no, say no, kullu rasul. No, 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 no. Let's listen. Did it, does it say the messengers in Arabic? Does it say the messengers before him pass away? Does it say that? Yes, it does. It, it does Thank say you. the messengers. So, guys, messengers. when I say the messengers before him pass away, does that mean all the messengers? Obviously, yes. It is, because if no, it's, it's not, not all of them, why he's saying the messengers? Why he's saying he, he can say a few messengers, he can say some messengers, but he did not say that. He said the messengers before him pass away. The messengers. Oh, yeah, like it doesn't so, mean so this is a mistake in the Quran because Muhammad he forgot that he said that Jesus he did not die. So you are you are um insisting on your own understanding, but you know the understanding is not all is that not all mm. of them. No, this died. is understanding, it says in Arabic, and you are the one who helped me, or the one who said it is says the messengers, so it is the messengers. Yes, the, the messengers. It doesn't say okay. all the messengers. Uh, the messengers, it means all the messengers. If I say the cats pass away, does it mean all the cats pass away? Or there's some that did not pass? If I say the cats, the cats pass away, did I just confirm that all the cats pass away or only one or two? I just said the cats. There's no exception. That's no, it. it was, you, uh, if you said the cats passed away, I would say all of them? Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Let us let us uh, let us make it uh, more simple. Jesus right it's now, not clear. just Jesus right now is in heaven. The Quran says, "Rafi'uka ilayya." I take you to myself. Okay. Allah take him to Himself. Why? Why not? Uh, but what what is the purpose of this? Uh, he taking Jesus up to heaven. What is 
Do Allah have a plan? Well, he, he has his own purpose. Okay, what is the know? what is the what is the plan? Well, if he doesn't, I'm like I said, if it if it if it is not in the Quran or the Hadith, I hmm. cannot speak outside of it. Hmm. But hmm. you know, I can hmm. give you a suggestion that may not be right. Hmm. Okay, as long as you do not know this topic, so we will change the topic. You, okay. you you failed to give me the first one that Allah is God until now you gave me nothing Should I give you something proof that Allah is God as an example the God of the Quran says that Allah he sent a hail from mountains in heaven Do you believe in that? You can't prove that Allah is God because you know Allah no, no, means God. You, so you're saying do you, okay, that okay, do you you're, do you, you're, pro you're okay. trying to prove that God is God okay. It doesn't it's not logical no problem, to prove no that God is God. No problem. If he's God, when then Allah, he's God. When Allah, he said that he sent down hail from mountains in heaven, is he being God or being a fool? I don't see it in, in your screen. Chapter 24, verse number 43. When Allah, he says that, is he being a God? 24 verse? 24, verse number 43. Is Allah 40, being God 40, or being okay. a fool? If what it does what <clears throat> is he being a god or he being a fool? Twenty-four, forty-three. You speak Arabic. It says, min jibalin fiha min baradin bihi man yasha." Translate. Go ahead. Uh, okay. And he um, sends down mm. from the the, the 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 sky, the heavens, mm. uh, from the, the the mountains in it. In it. Okay. So is, hold on. So uh, in heaven, there's hail. mountains. If there's mountains, where is the hail is coming from in heaven? Do you agree with that? Yes, hail comes from heaven. But it says from mountains in there. Correct. Yes, yes, okay. it does. Is that true or this is right. false? Do you believe really that there's mountains flying in the sky and this is where the hail is coming from? I'm not sure what this actually means. What do you mean? You just say it. Okay, it says, and you, you speak Arabic. It says, and you translate it. I don't you speak agree? Arabic. I are you are reading Arabic? Arabic. I don't know. So you are reading Arabic. It says that Allah will send from the sky from mountains and it hail, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's mountains, the mountains. There's mountains in heaven. Allah, He take hail from there and He throw at us. Is that a true or this is a false fiction science? Well, if it says that, then yeah, sure, it's true. Okay, so is that confirmed that Allah is God or is Allah is a fool for you? It doesn't prove that He's a fool mm. or fake. But isn't it, this is wrong scientifically? This is very false. I'm not saying it's wrong. Okay, I'm saying to you. I mean, you I believe that there's water in heaven, so no, I, I'm not I say, saying. I'm not the one saying that. It's your God saying he he take from hail from mountains in heaven, and he throw it at us. But this is not what science says. I mean, this is very simple thing we learn in elementary school. Oh, like I said, uh, I'm I'm I don't understand. I don't actually understand this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to take a look at this. Mm. Okay. Let me ask you. Allah created everything, right? Hang on. Let me just uh, make a note of things that you know I would like to come back to later. You don't have to. You can watch yourself later in the video. You, it's going to be all over. People double down the video, and we're going to be all over. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So now. Did Allah create everything? Did God create everything? Mm. Yes. Okay. Is everything created from water? Uh, all the living things. Yes. All right. The Quran here says that Allah, he created everything from water. Is angels are created from water? Uh, every living thing. Mm. Mm. No. Okay. So Allah is, is mistaken then. No, see when it says all living things, it doesn't. It doesn't actually, you know, 
doesn't actually mean all. It's I saying, mean, uh, as in, uh, you know, guys, guys, he just, 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 just what he just said. What Allah he says, I created all living things. He don't mean all living. You just said he created all living things. Uh, okay, here. He, it says uh, here's here. how I it says, that. Listen, listen. This is how wa I that that guy. Guy. And you I, are the one who says to me, Did it say kill? Kul, kul, kul. Here we go. It says kul. And we made it from water every living thing. Does it say that or I'm lying? Yes, yes, okay. it did. So we made it from water, but, all living things, but, every living but thing. You is, have to know. Is angels, you have to know. Is angels are what? living is, is angels are living things. Okay, you have to know what you know what all living things and uh, God is talking about it doesn't mean you know angels and the jinn. But he's talking and, about heaven. You know he's talking about what is in heaven and what is in earth. Read it carefully. Don't then believers see and this by the way. I this, cannot. I cannot read it because you know not? it doesn't say here. What what, what verse are you talking about? Because it's Chap not displaying on my screen. Chapter twenty one, verse number uh, uh, thirty. Twenty one, chapter uh, verse twenty. Sorry, thirty. 20 uh, 30 30 okay min al ma kulli shay okay so don't the unbelievers see kulli shay in hay okay yes. he's so talking about he's thing. talking about okay. what is in heaven and what is in earth read it don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together as one unit of a creation before this is a Muslim translation before we gloved them asunder, right? And then we made them from water and we made it from water every living thing. He's talking about the heaven and the earth. Well, this verse is interpreted as, uh, to mean that every living thing on earth. Okay. I will go with you guys. Did he say every living thing in earth is made from water? Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Is the genie is it created from water? He was he Jen and the um the the, the, the angels were created before. My friend, is the uh, is, is the jinn live in earth? And Adam was created before too. Don't you yes. Did you forget that Adam was uh -huh. created in heaven too? So this is not a not a problem. So is the jinn created from water? Because you said everything in earth. Okay, jinn and mankind they are in earth. All right. So are they created from jinn. water? Jinn was created before the uh, the, the heavens. My and friend, the earth. Adam was created. Before, Adam was created before too. Adam was created before the earth. He was in heaven. And then Allah, he sent them Adam down. was created. No, no, no. Adam was created when, you know, the earth had already been there. Okay. So your God, Allah, he's a, he's God a liar. God only took, you know, stuff from earth mm. and, you know, created him. So he took stuff from earth and then he went to the heaven and he made Adam there? He doesn't have to go. He just, you know. So what? He, he have a long hand? He doesn't have to. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, I will go with you. So Allah, he created Adam after he created the earth. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, but he is saying, and you are the one who said, that everything in earth is uh, created from water. And genie are in the earth. Yes. Af okay, let me ask you. Is the yes, sun... After, after the, is, the, is the, is the, after is the, the, the is heavens the, and the earth parted. Okay. Is the, is the moon and the sun, they are created from uh, water? That's not a living thing. The Quran say they are. <clears throat> you know what I mean by living thing. Of course, you know everything is living, but no. The uh, Quran says. The Quran says. When we see a living thing, we mean you know, like you and me and the animals. Hmm. You know, that's that's what living thing is. Okay, so I'm asking you now. When Allah He says that the the sky, He ask He ask. Uh, the heaven and the, the the sky and the earth and the, the the moon and the stars to believe in Allah to, to accept the trust of Allah, only Adam he accept that and he was a fool. Only Adam what accepted that and he was a fool. Only Adam hmm. I I didn't hear that. 
Only Adam was the fool who accepted the trust of Allah. Only Adam was fool enough to accept? Oh, come on, you hear me. Only no, I didn't Adam, hear you. okay, Allah, he offered Islam, offer Islam to the earth and to the heaven. And they refuse. But only oh, okay. the, uh -huh. he offered his trust and offer Islam to the earth and the heaven. And they refuse only the one only one who accepted that it was Adam and he was a fool Why is that? Uh, where does it say that? <laughs> I'm asking you before I show you because I know you will change your mind after I show you I, I know you by now So what do you think? If, uh, if if the sky how Allah he offered the sky Islam Is it, If you if you don't show it on the screen, I, I can't hear you very well mm -hmm. No problem. You hear me very well. You don't don't play games. I'm asking you, did Allah offer the earth to convert to Islam? Did God, what? Did Allah offer the earth to convert to Islam? Offer and, the earth, yeah, to convert to Islam. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Did Allah offer the mountains to convert to Islam and to accept the trust to trust Allah? Again, I, I'm not familiar with that. All right, here we go. But I, you know, I've, I've I've heard of it. No problem. Chapter just, 33, verse number 72. Allah, He offered His trust to the earth and the chapter heaven. Chapter what? Chapter 33, verse 72. Verse 72. Yeah. 33, 72. Okay. Mm. It says here, we indeed, we did indeed offer the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to undertake it, it being afraid therefore, but the man he undertook it and he he was indeed a fool, okay, and just and foolish, okay. So how Allah offer his trust to the earth and the heaven and the mountains and they refused? How God offered it? I don't know how he. Are you they know, living? Are they it? living things? Are, is the mountains as a person? He have a brain, and we talk to the mountain, and the mountain he says, "I accept or I refuse." Mountains and the earth mm. and the the, the, the heavens—they mm. were all created by God. No problem. So they this are. Is not, this is not the question. This is not the question. He said, "I offer the trust." Okay, Allah. He says to the mountain, I, uh, "Do you trust me?" The mountain says, "No, I don't trust you." He said to the earth, "Do you trust me?" He said, "No, I don't trust you." He said to the earth and the uh, and the and the heaven, "Do you trust me?" They said, "No, we don't trust you." He said to the man, "Do you trust me?" He said, "Yes," and he was a fool. It doesn't say, "Do you trust me?" Okay, read it. Okay, read the it. Trust okay. means okay. that the the deen, the, 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 the religion. Hmm. So Allah, okay. That's what the so, trust so is. So Allah, He offered the religion of Islam to the heaven, right? And the heaven refused. Uh yes. How is that? The trust yeah. is the heaven. A per, is, uh, is the heaven is a person who have a belief. Is the mountain is mm -hmm. a person who have a belief? Is the earth is a person? He have a brain and he believe he will see shahada. Yes, in their own way. Yes. What does that mean? It says he refused. How they refuse? What does that mean? What do you mean in his that way? Means, that means they they don't they don't they don't want to bear that kind of burden. Mm, but no, they don't want to bear that. They cannot. They cannot accept the trust of Allah. Nobody trusts Allah. Allah is a, the one who trusts Allah. He, Allah, He called him a fool. So, yeah, because. Uh, okay. The trust right. or the, the so, religion is very. All right. So uh, the one who okay. So the one who who the trust is hard to bear. All right. So the the, a one, burden. the one who trusts Allah is a fool and he will go to hell. But the one who refused the trust of Allah, he he is safe. Ah. Okay. I understand. So the trust is not Islam. It's the, the trust is um what do you call that? Freedom of choice. Okay. Yes. Uh, freedom of choice. What freedom of choice? Uh, yeah. The, the, uh, God offered them freedom of choice, and mm. then mm. when they make the right choice, they go to heaven. If they don't, they go to hell. Mm. So those uh, mountains and the heavens and okay. the earth, they don't want. They didn't want to take a risk because it was, and they they, they feared they wouldn't be able to um. Uh, 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 to live up to you know God's expectation, wow, but okay. the, the inside, uh, the, the 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 um the the 
the, what the, do you yeah. call that? Uh-huh. Mankind, uh-huh. mankind mm-hmm. uh, was full enough, you mm-hmm. know, to say that, yeah, sure, hmm. I can do that. So the one who accepts you know, Islam, I can make okay. good so, okay. decisions. So thank you. The the one who accepts Islam is the fool, and the one who refuses Islam is the smart person. This is what you are saying to me. So the earth and the heaven and the mountains. Allah said to them, "Do you accept Islam?" They said, "No, Islam is stupid. We don't want to believe in it." And no, like saying, I said, it doesn't mean Islam. It it means you know freedom of choice. What is freedom? It says a trust. Since when trust is the freedom of choice? It says we offer yes, you the, the trust, trust okay. of the trust hmm. of hmm. not abusing hmm. the freedom of choice. Okay, so do you believe that mountains they have a choices to believe in God, not to believe in God, and they refuse? So are you saying the mountains are atheists now? No, we're sa- I'm saying hmm. that they did not want the freedom of choice they because don't want that. if they had the freedom of choice, hmm. they were not sure that they could make the right decision, make the right choice. So did Adam choose the right of choice? Uh, yes, Adam mm. chose mm. the um, uh, the freedom of choice mm. because they can thought, you give me, thought... Can you give me the name of the donkey he said that to you, according to Islam? Give me the name of this donkey. That's, that's where the where do you get this from, that Adam, he have a choice? What See, part are when, you talking about? When I give you my interpretation, you ask me where. Okay, but so, when I say so I you are say, saying to me another way, you are that donkey because Islam does not teach that. So here it says in the front of me that your prophet is saying that there was a debate between Moses and between Adam and Moses was blaming Adam for the sin which he did. So uh, uh, Adam, he says to him, do you blame me for a sin which Allah, he wrote for me that I will do before he, 40 years before he created me? Huh? 40 years before he created me. So where is the freedom of choice? Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Okay, let us see. Here we go. I will show it to you. I see Allah's messenger. There is right. happiness for this child. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Here we go. Read the hadith. This is a very authentic hadith in front of you. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is the reference. Moses and Adam, they have an argument. Read the hadith. I'm waiting for you. Go ahead. Take your time. Uh, it's not seeing. It's not showing on my screen, no like I said. Yeah, this is what happened when you use the internet of the. News. I'm seeing Allah's messenger. There's hap- There's happiness for this child who no has a bird. That's what I'm seeing right now. Okay, give it a second. You know, no problem. Do you want some water? Because Allah created Actually, from I water every like living to... thing. I mean, this is amazing how he knew that. But here we go. Angels are not created from water. Moons and uh, they are not created from water. Uh, and Allah, he is offering them Islam. This is funny. And now you are saying to me, he offered them freedom of choice. But Adam, according to your prophet, Allah, he did not give him the freedom of anything. Moses debating Adam saying, because of you, we are out of heaven. So Adam, he says to him, to him are you blaming me for something he read Allah he wrote for me in my fate 40 years before my creation you cannot blame me for that this is fate written for okay, me so I, oh wait okay so on every mus- oh, now now you're scrolling up I see you're scrolling up hmm. and to the right hmm. you stop there on every Muslim there is enjoined Saraka. Okay, hmm. so the prophet said, "Ah, oh, you moved again." Uh, okay, so it says the prophet said, "Adam, oh man, you moved again." Okay, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Oh, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. And Adam said to him, "Oh, Moses." God would favor you with this talk. Continue. You read, read, um, listen. Read. Okay, I wrote, I, I read it. No, no, read, read loud. You know, I want to hear you right? because you know I have a problem with hearing. I want to hear you. Okay. Right. Then Adam said to him, "Oh mm-hmm. Moses, Allah favored you with His talk, mm-hmm. and He wrote mm-hmm. the, for you with His own hand. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate?" 40 years before my creation. Hmm. So Adam computed Moses. Adam computed Moses. Okay. Okay. So, uh-huh. so how you said to me a second ago that Allah, he gave Adam the choice, the freedom of a choice. Where is the freedom of choice? Yes. 
God did give give Adam the freedom of choice, mm -hmm. but he also knew what Adam was going to do. <laughs> Take care, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> What a comedy. <laughs> it says, do you blame me? Which means he cannot blame him. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you see, I'm very, very patient with you because people are happy. They are laughing. They are dying laughing at your stupid cut. Do you blame me for what Allah he wrote? It's not about Allah knows. Do you blame me? Which means you cannot blame me. And your prophet, as usual, he is a person of the Trinity. He repeat himself three times, which is a, a very stupid. I mean, so Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam, is anything have to say it once? No, he want to confirm it three times. Trinity. So he confuted uh, 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 Moses about what? About blaming him that because of you we are out of heaven. You cannot blame me. So don't. What do you mean, Allah? He knows. Allah knows nothing, my friend. So. Oh, everything you say to me is a shish kebab falafel hummus. Everything you say to me is extremely stupid. And we are laughing. And the only reason I really have a patient with you because Islam is a comedy and I cannot really, uh, I will feel guilty if, uh, if I did not continue a little bit with you. So people will have more, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's weekend. As simple as that. Right? What you say to me is very silly and very stupid. Anyway, we did not really, I mean, uh, what we saw today is an example how the Muslims, they play around in the bushes. Allah is a name of the God of Islam. He is not a word me God. And this is why the Muslims, when they say Shahada, they have to say there's no God but Allah. They don't say there's no God but God, as the idiot in the video, the one we were showing you before, he said, that's a lie. You will never find any Muslim saying that. No Muslim says no God but God. They say no God but Allah, because Allah is a unique name for the God of Islam. And Allah is not the tall name. And we made many videos about it. Allah is two words, the word A-L and La. And La is the moon God. So al la al is a generic word used by pagan and used by Christians and used by Muslims because this is coming from the Aramaic, the same as il, the same as il. Actually, Christians, Muslims, Jews, uh, you know, they use pagan words, pagan words when they speak about God. Why? Because this word is a is a language word coming to them from previous languages like the Aramaic. So il is just a word meaning God. It's Aramaic word. It's not really Hebrew. It's not in Arabic. It has nothing to do with us. It has to do with the Aramaic. So, Il is a word meaning God, but it doesn't matter which God. So, when the Aramaic were pagan, they used the word Il, and they used the word Al. This is why they say, uh, like there's many Baal, you know, Baal, Al, okay, Allah, Al-Lat, al uzza al, al So, when they say al -Lat, they just said God Uzza. They do not need to say uh, Uzza the goddess. You know, they already say the word, they put the word Allah in the front. Allah. If you go in the Quran, you will see this right away. <clears throat> Let us see some funny Islamic translation. Do you notice that the Arabic says Allat, al uzza Okay, why it says Allat? Because Al is a word meaning God. So God Lat, God the Uzza. They are God. al la God la As simple as that. And Al is a word used by the Hebrew, by the Arab, by the Aramaic, and it is Aramaic. Actually, many things we say today, even in English, it is Aramaic. Aramaic is an amazing, amazing culture, amazing uh, history, and uh, but Islam destroyed everything they have there. 
the, the land of Abraham is the Aramaic, the land of Syria is the Aramaic. You know, those people are amazing. Don't call me a kid. You're just a kid. Just I'm done with you. So uh, uh, all of us, uh, when we pray, we say Amin. Amin is in Aramaic. This is not a Hebrew. And this is not Arabic. All right. So Islam is a collection of religions. And the funny, the Muslims, they do not know even what Allah means. But why? Because this is an old word for the old God, which is the God of the, the sun, the, the moon. And when Muhammad he says, Allah, Allahu Akbar, he is talking about two gods, Allah and Akbar. Akbar is the name, one of the names of the gods, which is a famous God. This is why Ibrahim, when he saw the sun coming in the sky, he says, this is my God, this is Akbar. He called only the sun Akbar. He did not call the moon. He did not call anyone. He called only Hada Rabbi Hada Akbar. Okay, hold on. Let me give you the verse. Chapter 6, verse number 76. So when he saw the sun is coming, he says, this is my God. This is Akbar. Here the translation this says greater. It doesn't say greater. It says Akbar. Akbar in Arabic does not mean greater. Greater in Arabic is Azim. He asked the Muslims what the word Azim mean. They say great. So what do you mean? Allah is Akbar. Already you said he's Azim. So Akbar means bigger. All right. In Aramaic, the word God is Allah. Sorry. Allah. Yeah. See, my friend, uh, uh, Sierra uh, uh, International, that's not true. Because Allah, it is two words, which means you are saying it's correct what you are saying, but you are wrong at the same time. Allah is Allah, which means confirming the God. It's not the name of a God. Ah, look what you just said to me. All right. Al Aha. <laughs> Let me type it in the screen. Hold on. It's not a name. Al. Let me type in English. Al. Aha. Aha is not a name. It's like something you add to the word to say the God. So Al is the word God. The same when you say Al Ilah. E lah. Il lah. This is a pagan word. We are use it today. Christian use it. Muslim use it because this is the original, the Aramaic. So you, you are not really accurate. You do not know. Many people they you know they get confused. They think this is one word. Allah is not one word. El ilah is not one word. Ilah is not one word. If we say if we type the word ilah, ilah. It is e la. It is the moon god. The word il is god. Il, and the rest is la, the moon god. This is the origin. <laughs> and people think it's one word. It's not. Il is a word meaning God. This is why you say that Jesus, like we say, Emmanuel. This is an Aramaic word used by the pagan before us and became a Hebrew or used by the Hebrew. It doesn't hurt us because, okay, it's just a word meaning God. So we don't believe. We don't believe in this God, the God of the moon. We are just using the word, which is a language. All, all, uh, all, uh, all languages in the world are transformation of other languages. There's connection between the culture and the language. And remember, the Jews themselves, they were captured by the Assyrian who speak Aramaic. Correct? The Jews themselves, actually, they have a part of their Torah written in Aramaic. Even the Torah is not written, all of it, in the Hebrew. Why is that? Because they have a, a his, part of their history was under the Aramaic or the, the Assyrian. All right? So... When somebody he speak, he think he is making a correct statement, and I believe uh, my friend here, the one who's saying that, he is being honest. But you did not notice maybe that this is not one word; it's two words. It is il and la. When you say al ilah, it's the same. It's not one word. 
Al always, al or il, it is. Uh, Allah mean God, Allah mean the God. Okay, it's what I say to you. But where is the Allah? What? Okay, what is the God in Allah? The word is Al. This is God. You see. Like you know, in English, every language have its own way. So, like I say, in the seventeenth, in the seventeenth, or in the in the twenty fourth, but still, I'm saying the twenty four, twenty fourth, the seventh of July, seventh. So the eighth does not make any different. It's just confirming that this is the date. So, but the number is the seven, but I'm saying the seventh. All right. So this is the same. So the word God here is only a L or E L the old ancient Aramaic it used to use a L even the Hebrew and then the new Hebrew they use the word E L all right <clears throat> do you understand me now so this is not what you are saying or you are thinking. You see, most of Arabic words is connection of too many words together, and now they sound because the Arab they uh, they change the way of writing. The Arabic uh, uh, used to be not connected; it used to be letters. It used to be just letters thrown next to each other. There's no connection; it's not connected. Any word in front of you is coming from a connection. All right. <clears throat> Akbar mean bigger, not biggest. Bigger, not biggest. Hmm. Well, this is a true, but still, as long there's no biggest, that's mean he is the biggest. Because he is the Akbar of all of them. That will be correct if we say there's big and bigger and biggest. But they don't continue to count because there's nobody Akbar. That's it. So he is the biggest at the end. Anyway, but you know, anyway, like uh, uh, I find the statement sometimes is silly because uh, uh, bigger or biggest will not make a difference. You are comparing Allah to who? Is he an idol? Is he a size? The second you say Akbar, like in Arabic, sometimes we use Akbar even for numbers. Like my my uh, uh, Akbar Amini. He's not a greater than me. I'm just saying how old he is. So it's always about counting things, either a size or numbers, or even power. You know? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? You know, once I was uh, I was debating with the <clears throat> Can you show us the word Baal? Okay, here we go. Why I want to show it to you? I can type it right away in the front of you. Baal. Okay, let us type it here in Arabic. I will type it in English too. This is Baal, my friend. The reason you are confused about Baal, you see, we type it in Arabic, but Baal is not an Arabic word. In the real language, it says Ba Al Al. Al can appear in the beginning or it can appear at the end. And I just showed you, as in the case of Jesus, it says Emmanuel. So he appeared at the end. In the case of uh, Ishmael, appear at the end. Uh, Mikael at the end. Israel at the end. But uh, in the case of Daniel, Daniel at appear at the end but there's some cases where it appear in the beginning uh, let us as an example Elohim Elohim in the beginning so this word is flexible it can appear before the name or after the name to define or give definition for the name so Baal it is contained the, le the, the letter A and L 
There's many words in Arabic we or let's say many letters we say them but they don't they are not written. Like when you say bal, bal. Right? There is a there is a L. But this is because it's a foreign name, it's not really a name which we have. This is a foreign language coming far away. Every culture have their own gods. So in the as an example, in the uh, in Europe, they have the name for the same name of the moon god Lah, but they call him Sin. But this is the same God. Sin is the moon god. Lah is the moon god. So how sin became Lah? Because different uh, culture, different, they changed the name. All right. <clears throat> Most of those languages you use. It's in it's uh, okay. Uh, just to show you, my friend. Hold on. Let me take a snapshot, and uh, I I hope you will take what what you take, uh, what you will say to me. You will take it friendly. Just to show you how people they are they don't notice really how they say things, which is funny. I'm not making fun of you, my friend. I'm just showing you what you just say, say to me, confirming that you are wrong. I took a snapshot. I will put it in the screen. This is, remember, this is what you wrote, not what I wrote. Okay, let me open it, put it in the screen. There you go. All right, this is your text. Where did you see in Al in a bal? I see it. It's in your role. It's your writing. Let me zoom in. <laughs> Do you see it? It's in the front of you, my friend. You added the L at the end. I just say to you that L can appear, AL appear either in the front or in the beginning, the same as EL. And you are saying to me where it appear? <laughs> anyway. Anything else? I know what to say. Sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, I have to start from zero. What, what is the okay? Are we talking about the Arabic now or the Hebrew? What the, what does it have to do with the Hebrew? The, the Hebrew don't believe in Baal anyway. And look at what you just said. Where in Arabic? You okay? You said to me where in Baal? Is that the correct word you wrote to me, or this is a false word? This is Baal in Arabic. This is how it's written. There's a Baal. So God Baal, God Baal. Israel is Israel, Mikael is Mikael, Emmanuel is Emmanuel. You can be stubborn as you wish, no problem. <clears throat> all, all, all of this, all of this is coming from other languages. This is why it's not part, and we do not know what they mean because simply they are not from our language. That's why you ask the Muslims what Musas mean, they do not know. Because Musas, Musas, Moshe, is a Hebrew word. Muslims have nothing to do with it. You ask the Muslim what Allah means, they do not know. They say it's the name of God. What does that mean? What, what the meaning? They don't know. And they come with all like the definition. They start saying Allah means the, uh, the only God. This is fiction. It's not true. What, uh, what, uh, uh, what Isa mean? They don't know. Okay, what Maryam mean? They don't know. What Abraham mean? They don't know. Why? Because all those names are stolen. All those names are stolen. In Arabic, not in English. But in Arabic, not in English. Baal in English. Baal, my friend, in English, is uh, contain AL2. And in Arabic, contain the AL. You, you pronounce it. Do we have why you don't call me the one who calls self care? Do you feel like you can call me? Do you like to call me, my friend? I want to learn from you. Maybe you know something better than me. What do you think?
You are a Muslim. And this is what the Muslims do. They hijack names of others. And I'm being patient with you. Here we go. Call me. Prove me wrong. All the names of your God, they start with A-L. Why? Because it's the name of God. So you are saying God, Azim, God, Akbar, God, etc. So you start with the word God. <coughs> Who is Elias, by the way, in your Quran? Elias, who is Elias? Elias, what Elias mean? You don't know. What Abraham mean? You do not know. <laughs> and just to show you about the stupidity of the Quran, the Quran claim that the father of uh, Abraham, his name is Azar. Where is this Azar coming from? You see, the Muslim did not translate the, the word because they think this is a name. They think really the Quran saying that Allah, or sorry, Abraham, he said to his father Azar, he is saying that his, his father Azar, this is the name. But the fact this is from the old Aramaic, which means a fool, foolish. So Abraham saying to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? And because the Muslims, they are following the foolish Muhammad who do not know what the word means, he just heard it, <laughs> he copied it, he put it in his book, and he did not, he cannot correct, he cannot tell them what this Azar means. So the Muslims they follow, and now every Muslim believe that Azar is a word mean or uh, is the word, is the name of the father of uh, Abraham. But all of us we knew that it's not true. So he is saying to his father, fool, and to the fool, Azar, the word fool became the name of the father of Abraham. You believe it? This is what happened when you are a fool following a foolish man who the Muslim they say he do not know how to write how to read you see it and the one who is using a false name uh, you know we have no choice but to but you can call me for sure you are a Muslim call me be a man but let me hide you from my channel because you are using the name of Al-Fadi and you are a fake person but this is not a new Muslims always they copy names of others they copy the the, the name of uh, Moses they copy the name of Abraham they put it in their books but they have nothing to do with Moses have nothing to do with Abraham have nothing to do with Jesus have nothing to do with Mary nothing new in other way you are Azar like your prophet Azar hmm? I advise you, my friend, to call your son Azar. Don't don't forget. If you get a son from your uh, from any of the, your four wives, huh, call them Azar. The first one you get him, call him Azar. I challenge you. Do that. Hmm? Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Uh, the video will not stay in my channel for long, but we are going to repost it again. What is your ID? Well, we are leaving now. You can call me some other time. No problem. Unless we have a shake. And there's anyone here is a shake? Do we have anyone is a shake? Shaky shake? You know, if your profit is like this, what about the shake? Do you remember, guys, when I had a debate with uh, Dr. Rahi, he said, I asked him, who is Allah? Where is the word Allah coming from? He said, the first one who used the word Allah is an Arabic guy. Who is he? He do not know. What the word mean? He do not know. He have a PhD from al Azhar University. This guy is a, uh, is a doctor, doctor from the highest Islamic school, al Azhar University, and he do not know what Allah mean. You can go and listen to the debate. You do not know. What the word Allah mean? You do not know. Who said Allah? An Arab guy, he said Allah. Who is he? No, we don't know. We don't know. They know nothing. That is Islam. Exactly. Christian prince, he knew more than their prophet. He knew more than their God. He knew that more than Allah. He knew more than the Quran. And nobody knows as I do about Islam. No one. Here we go. Be my witness. Each time they call me, it's a very embarrassment of what they say, and we die laughing. 
today we have a Muslim he agreed that Allah he became a man and he have no problem that Allah maybe he is his shin is a shin of an ant no. yet they refuse Jesus for being God but yet he's a man you see the hypocrisy all right uh, I think we have enough for today and I don't know if tomorrow I will do any live podcast because I think we we have too much for the last 24 hours give time to people to watch this two to a video my other video the one we took off it's already published you can search for the same title all right and you can find it uh, published by many uh, Christians and I advise you always to subscribe to those Christians who publish my videos so you can be always updated you know because they are the first one who take and download and uh, you know uh, uh, like post the video which is going to be missing from my channel yeah my voice is getting tired what I can do actually I'm tired I have actually I, I don't feel really good today I have a little bit of headache but uh, I you know I cannot resist getting somebody busted I saw this video I could not take it I said let me go even though I said to myself I want to work in my book all right and again those who speak Spanish my book in Spanish six and Allah will be published very soon in Amazon maybe 48 hours from now all right so I want to say thank you for all of you and thank you for the Muslim Abdul who called us because he gave us a good comedy about his God. It's fantastic. And I, I believe that the best, the best comedy is Islam. I mean, the God who showed the, uh, the shaitan in his, in his ass by a star so he will not spy at him. <laughs> and God, he have a flying carpet. And God, he make the, the uh, Prophet Solomon, he understand the language of the birds, but yet he can understand the language of the... <laughs> Of the ants. By the way, I heard the ant today speaking. You believe it or not? Okay. And let me tell you what I what happened uh, today. Uh, 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 Amazon they deliver for me something, and uh, they put it behind the, my door. I went there and I grabbed the box, and then I took it inside the house, and I found an ant on it. The ant, she said to me, "I challenge you." And I could not believe it. The ant is speaking to me, but then I remember Suleiman, brother. So the man, he heard the ants. So I said, okay, well, look like I can do it too. If the man can do it, I can do it. All right? And we are neighbors. I'm an Arab. He is a Jew. So I said to the ant, what uh, what do you want? She said, uh, I'm a Muslim and I want to challenge you. I said, okay. Uh, okay, as long as you are a Muslim, prove it to me. Can you say Shahada? You know, and she shake her ass three times, says, no, uh, there's no uh, God but Allah. And then she uh, did the wudu. She started washing her hands and touching her face three times, brother. And then she put water in her nose and then in her ears. Uh, ears? Ants don't have ears. Mm. Well, I think the, uh, I think they ha she have ears. I mean, scientifically, she don't have ears, but I think this one have ears. Okay, I know you, you know what I mean. It, it's a true story, brother. It's true. Everything there, you can find this story in Sahih al-Bukhari. Now, if I say this story in public, people will die laughing at me, right? But Muslims listen to their prophets speaking those stories. They say it's true. We believe it. No problem. No problem. Brother, what's the problem? You see? But if you go in public, in TV, and you say that I was walking in a valley and one of the ants, she said to the other ants, hide. People will die laughing. The second you say Muhammad says that, nobody will dare to say this is false, man. This is stupid. This is crazy. What are you talking about? Just say Muhammad says that. And this is always what happened. Actually, today we did it. Didn't we say, did, did I ask the guy, anyone, do you think anyone he's, he believed that the sun set in a muddy hot water is stupid and he's ignorant? He said yes. <laughs> he said yes the second I showed him that this is what his prophet said he changed his mind remember eh, garbage garbage in garbage out and anything you show them it's embarrassing for Islam to say can you show me authentic source Islam have no but my friend Islam does not have any I think authentic anything is not authentic for them it's just the only way to escape the humiliation of following a false God can you do a life on Sahih al-Bukhari? I don't go by those numbers. I don't know what Sahih al-Bukhari book number six, 
hadith number 60 475 give me the hadith because those numbers are not accurate really those are numbers from the translation I don't know what that hadith is all right anyway I want to say guys thank you for being here and I have the aunt still waiting for me I uh, you know she want to take a bath you know because she became a Muslim now she's holy she want to do muta she's a female and she put a sign in my door says any any male Muslim want to pay me ten dollars an hour imagine the aunt she converted to Islam two hours ago and now she want to do muta how many of you watched the previous video about the muta where the guy he explained to us that you can do it for one hour if you want and he have no problem if his sister or his daughter she rented herself watch it if you don't believe me muta this is religion and this is ethic and this is God your wife your daughter your sister or not your wife your daughter or your sister she can rent her private part for one hour she make money business is business my friend business is good I mean why you will be upset if your daughter come back from outside and she have a guy with her and she said that I'm going to do muta in the bedroom he pay me ten dollars hello according to Islam this is marriage one hour he go inside the bedroom he do boom 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 for one hour he gave her ten dollars and then that's it it's over there's no need for divorce it's automatic high-tech religion high-tech sex Islam is the only religion teach breastfeeding for adult I mean this is ethic so we make Muslim women wear burqa but women they can rent themselves and they can do breastfeeding for adult brother you cannot shake hands with Muslim women haram haram brother but you can rent them for us one hour that's amazing you cannot shake hands with them but you can you can suck their breast and I'm talking about foreigner, a stranger, not a husband. I'm not talking about a husband sucking the breast of a woman. She is his wife. This is his business. I'm talking about a guy, the, the bus driver. According to Islam, if she go in the bus, before she can go in the bus and be with the bus driver, she have to give him her breast 10 times in 10 different days until he is satisfied. Now imagine the bus driver he is going to suckle every Muslim woman she jump in the bus in Egypt you will never go anywhere we will be busy all day the guy like what are you doing guy are you going to drive the bus don't you see me busy I'm suckling I'm practicing the teaching of a prophet of Allah all right this is religion this is God I'm truly convinced And then they say to us that the Quran is preserved and then we find that a goat ate the Quran and the goat ate the chapter of a breastfeeding which is make me very upset I mean imagine this ugly goat from the whole Quran she could not find a verse to eat except the most fun one I mean leave it what you will lose eat the other chapter there's many chapters the goat ill eat only the chapter of a breastfeeding and an astonishing to death which is very fishy by the way I don't believe that this has happened I think the Muslims they destroy it they want to hide it it's embarrassing so they claim that the, the the goat ate it and how how Allah he preserved the Quran brother the Quran is preserved the goat ate the Quran. okay who who here can recite for me the chapter of uh, breastfeeding for adult I want to hear it the hadith saying that there's two chapters one about the breastfeeding for ten time and then abrogated for five time why Allah he changed his mind from 10 to 5 why you don't make it 15 men they will like it more me personally I like it 15 more than been 10 time why 5 huh what about 20 time I mean what the difference between 10 and 5 why Allah changes mind which is that 10 time and 5 time why okay what the 5 time would do and what the time why it was 10 time in the beginning did Allah notice that this is stupid so he said that or they taking too long <laughs> this is religion if this is religion what is the stupidity brothers and sisters if you want to go and sit with the women alone you have to suckle her boobs ten times until you are satisfied in ten different days and then okay brother and sisters Allah just told me don't do it ten times do it now five times okay what a different why it was ten a week ago and now it's five 
Did Allah make a mistake in the numbers? <laughs> what is that? <coughs> okay, Mr. Uh, uh, the Hadith Al Bukhari. N next time I go live on air, remind me right now, and my voice is really tired. So, guys, I want to say thank you. And five time, ten time, go as you do as you wish. But the breastfeeding for a woman, you know, for an adult, this is nothing but a scam, a fraud, and this is not ethical. And we are talking not we are not talking about wife and husband. Wife and husband, they can enjoy themselves whatever they want to do. This is this is their life. But a man and a, a, a strange man and a strange woman, they are doing such a thing. This is extremely stupid. Forget about anything. It's extremely stupid. So if you marry a Muslim woman and you go home and you find your wife in the couch and she have somebody you do not know sucking her breast, don't complain. She will show you the hadith that the Prophet, he says so. Allah said so. And if one day, you guys, you came to listen to me in the chat and you did not hear me, I might be doing breastfeeding for adult. I mean, I might be hungry. Hello? Yeah, by the way, if you have any advertising, you want to advertise for a breastfeeding for adult in my channel for free, you can post it in the chat. Give your phone number. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Otherwise, we will stay until, until tomorrow. I keep saying to you, I'm leaving. And look, we are staying. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And the video will disappear. And then you search for the same title after a couple of hours and you will find it as usual. Copy the title so you will not lose it. Is Allah God answering the false teacher, te teaching of a professor of whatever name? And you will find the video immediately as soon as it is available for us to download and reload. All right. So thank you. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See ya.